And yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Unclick podcast. We are here with three, what I would consider legendary people. I'm a little, uh, little overwhelmed, honestly. It was a, a funny seeing you guys in front of my house, like just hanging out. I'm like, ah, that's crazy. So uh, we have <laughs> Dave Volker, who is accompanied by uh, Pete Augustine, and we have Rooftop here uh, subbing in. Uh, you know, I think we want people that live the era and, and old, build a little old, bit more. Old is what he's saying. <laughs> old. Wise. 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 I'll but, take that. Uh, so thank you guys for coming down. We've talked about this for a long time. And then uh, this is a morning podcast. So uh, we are sponsored by Oscar Blues. So shout out to them. But it's a water and a coffee, <laughs> and a coffee. And a coffee day. And uh, we may have some kids running around in about an hour or so. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So this is this is our life. Just like home. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So uh, thank you. You want to take over now? I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, this is a hard podcast to do because because uh, Dave can't remember because it. Yeah. Dave can't remember. Um, <laughs> that's why Pete's here. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> but also uh, there's a part of that. It's a little hard, too, because. How do you have Pete Augustine in the room and not make exactly. it about Absolutely. Pete Augustine no, and Dave? Don't make it about me. Um, this is all Dave. No, and, but really, but it, I, I do want people for to real. Uh, so, get to meet Pete. You know, a lot of people never get a chance to really hang out and talk with him. You know. See, so, yeah, so for me, it's a little bit different because I got to. How do you how do you approach that? Yeah. But so I'm just gonna, it, Pete. You're gonna be in it as much as you talk. <laughs> perfect okay. but for me okay. so th this also is like a little bit for me because they're they're in the era where i i was not their peers yeah right so i wasn't your peers but i you were also who i was looking up to right as i got into it yeah so uh, and, and let me go from that um pete was the guy that i was looking up to when I was very young and starting out, he was able to do like a hundred front wheel hops at the boardwalk. You know what I mean? Like nobody could do that. And he was doing it. So it was literally, I was looking up to Pete at that point. And you grew up in Santee? Yes. Is that right? Which and is 23 miles from, to the beach. To the beach. And, and where did you grow up? I grew up pretty much right here where Ryan lives. It's right down the street, three, three blocks away. Yeah, which is insane. So he grew up in the same model house. That's that pretty I'm cool. In. He exactly. literally called it four bedroom, two and a half bath. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yes, you are on point. So, and, and how old were you guys when you guys met? Did you guys know of each other before you met? I knew of Dave. Um, there was, you know, rumors of him and another guy, Sean Dively going around. And I seen Dave ride a couple times down at the beach, I believe. But it was, uh, you know, when we were in our early twenties, I think. So when oh, you say that late, oh, early twenties. Okay. Well, not for me. You know, I'm a lot younger than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, back then, four years was a oh, big yeah. difference. Or you know maybe, I mean? maybe in our late teens. I don't know, somewhere around there. When yeah. you say like, yeah. when you say rumor, yeah. you know, like that's like a funny. That's a funny thing for these days. You know, like I saw an Instagram clip or something like no, that. No, it wasn't. Know? It was like word of mouth. So you know, somebody from a neighborhood would say something to an, another group of kids from another neighborhood, and then <laughs> it would just travel. You yeah, know, like seriously. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's how it was. So then you would hear like, yeah, they're going to be at this uh, bike shop doing a demo. You know, because there was always these local bike shop demos around here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So. Went down there and saw him and Sean Dively, and they were both super impressive. Sean was really good. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it was like these are the two guys that are gonna. And then all of a sudden, they would, you know, for a while there, there was Sean, but then it would just Dave took off, you know, and it seemed to me like Sean wasn't as dedicated or devoted to it. Well, as, he ended up having knee. He problems. had knee injuries. I remember that. Yeah. When uh, at that time, were you guys more like were you riding ramps? Was it more street? Like if you guys went and rode together, where you guys laughed? I, I laughed because like the demo thing he's talking about was a launch ramp and a parking lot to flag. Ramp. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So yeah, it's kick turn yeah. ramp. Yeah, you're jumping off of. Or it was a really sketchy six foot wide or something <laughs> quarter pipe that yeah. some kid built in his driveway, so it wasn't yeah. you know right. Well, I guess I mean like what? How did you get into BMX? Like I guess like in this in this day and age, you saw somebody or or. Yeah, like, literally growing up, it was who could ride the longest wheelie was all pretty much only thing to do. You yeah. know what I mean? Or um, who could jump over the most trash cans type of stuff. So Evil Knievel it was, was evil literally. Knievel, yeah. okay. they, I mean, you know, I got butterfly handlebars. I've got a gooseneck that's holding these giant bars that I put a bolt through to <laughs> stop the bars from sliding forward and backwards. And Is this late 80s or, or I mean, is this late, the late 70s? Late 70s yeah, or early 80s? 70s. Late, 70s. late 70s. No, so, like early 70s, I was 
a little kid riding yeah. wheelies for blocks, you know, and people that were was the spreading thing. the word to the next wheelie. neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> to the next yeah. neighborhood. Like, dude, he rode around the whole block or whatever, you know. I rode a wheelie all the way to school today. Yeah. Isn't there isn't there's a story? You said twenty three miles. There's a story about that, right? Well, I mean, we what, rode were... to the beach all the time. Like I said, I saw him at the beach that we didn't have a transportation. It was like we would ride twenty three miles. Ride all day and then turn around and yeah. ride back uphill, you know? That's yeah. what we would do to go to Sheep Hills, me and Castillo. We'd ride the 20 some miles to Sheep Hills with $2 in our pocket. Yep. Go back. to Del Taco. Yeah. Del Taco. Stop at hoses. Get sort I, I think the thing that some kids today find it hard to understand is that we didn't have the, you know, maybe Dave did a little bit with some of the early BMX, you know, same with me with BMX motocross. But to me, it was like, it was Evil Knievel, those guys like Bob Hurricane, Hannah, mm -hmm. Roger DeCoster, you know, Mike Bell. It was like the early motocross stuff yep. that you'd see, you know, Supercross. So I that, couldn't afford a motorcycle, so BMX. Yeah, was so there. it was BMX. So, yeah, I think that's where it all kind of started what, from. Was there a story about you doing a wheelie most of the way home because you had a flat tire? <laughs> that's what I heard. I, yeah. I don't yeah. remember it. That's what, I mean, yeah. I, yeah. yeah, Brad Blanchard always talks about it, but I, I honestly – I. I remember having Fabrication. a flat riding yeah. wheelies, but yeah. I, I always think it sounds good and it's very possible. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it, it was a very simple trick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what year, like at what point did you guys, were you guys like a, I don't know, a crew, but where you guys were hanging out and riding a lot together? That was a Dirt Brother time. Yeah, it was a Dirt Brothers time, probably okay. late 80s, I would yeah. say. Very yeah. important part Dave. is the Dirt Brothers. Yeah. yeah. And do you consider yourself a Dirt Brother? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Well, you know, I, some I people don't the, think of that, you know? the clean cut company, you know, but that's because I knew there was a future for a long time, yeah. and it actually worked out. So Because when you think of Dirt Brothers, I don't necessarily think Volker, but I know that. I know, I, in my head, it feels like... Same with Eddie Roman. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's part of our crew too yeah you know, there was a lot of guys there's people that actually skateboarded kind of you know that hung out with us you know? <laughs> which is funny i got a story i'm at the dirt brothers house because i got a broken arm i went skateboarding with them we're in a parking lot and i broke my ankle <laughs> so now i got a left broken ankle and a cast on my arm and i'm on a skateboard with a broken ankle on my knee <laughs> trying to get back to my truck which is a clutch with yeah. the left foot broken <laughs> ankle <laughs> yeah so i left the dirt brothers with a broken ankle scooting down the sidewalk at night cars pulling out i'm on my knees cruising around <laughs> <laughs> how did uh how did i mean I'm, I'm a little unclear on time but the dirt brothers was before gt dino right as far as your involvement no no, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. Okay. After. It was after. Yeah. Well, I guess what year did you get sponsored by, by a Dino? 85, uh, Brian Skura started using me. So he got me the co-sponsor by Dino at that time. How did but, he find you? Uh, it was cool. It, it was somebody recommended me. Is that how it went down? Yeah. After the uh, Velodrome contest that I went to, somebody was like, hey, uh, you should try this guy out for shows. And he needed somebody. So he came down with a ramp to my high school the parking lot, set it up, and tested me out. And I remember it like he didn't use me for a while, like I didn't work out. But then he was desperate, and he, he got me up to the Orange County Fair, and uh, I did good, and we started doing shows together. It was like your, your, the rest of your people at your high school watching this all happen? No, this was kind of a Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, okay. was it, what was the ramp? Uh, just a quarter pipe that okay. he designed the one in the magazine mm -hmm. the one that had oh. two kickers off the back yeah <laughs> yep that was it you that's know. awesome yeah but yeah it worked out bitching because he taught me how to uh, make people smile and that you know i love doing that i love entertaining people by jumping my bike but now i learned how to uh, make them react i guess yeah and so that was just doing shows then for is it for gt dino it was just for brian skura just for brian skura yeah. So how long did you do that for? Uh, about a year. And then the GT was like, hey, we're going to send you to a contest, see how you do. And then I ended up doing good. And then they were like, hey, we want you full time. For GT or for Dino? For Dino. And was that a bummer? Uh, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wanted to ride for the big dog, you know? Yeah. But even though we all know it was the exact same thing, now looking back. Yeah. But it wasn't treated like that. No. It was a company within a company, right? They're yeah. trying to make more money. Yeah. <laughs> it's a money machine. Which is weird because, like, when I was younger and grump, I thought Dinah was cooler. No. But didn't. I only thought Dinah was cooler because of you. There you go. Right. But you know what I mean? Because yeah. you had, like, Eddie Fiola, like, like, the first video I ever watched was the GT demo tape. 
right? And for me, it's like you had you in there, it had Dino, it had, and so I was like an Eddie fan, right? And then, uh, and he has the last part, you know, he has the last section. Of course. I, but when you watch that video, you're like, oh, I, I even though all your there stuff you was, even though all your stuff was that's the GT demo, oh, yeah, and that's go. just right off the freeway here in Encinitas, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so here's this. Was this your house? No, that was Camarillo. Camarillo. That's the one I was talking about. Ah, okay. Um, Ooh, oh. tricky. <laughs> but the GT demo tape, I remember watching it, and even though I, I felt like I, I it resonated more with me, and uh, mostly it was because of that trick right there. <laughs> But I don't know what it was. So, uh, and then I started get, getting magazines, and you were doing street stuff. And for me, Dino became much cooler than GT. But I'm, I'm, it's because of you. Uh, it's weird to hear uh, you say that. You I, know what I mean? I guess from my perspective too is I never thought of one being better than the other. Mm. You know, like from a kid's perspective in the in you know essentially the mid '90s, it huh. was like it was one was Dino, one was GT. I didn't realize one was better. I, than I, I will personally ag- thought they both sucked. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the true Pete, right? There. I, I do think That's though the Pete that people fear. I do think though, after the late 90, I mean, late eighties, early nineties, I did feel like Dino sucked. Right. So like it started getting in the mid 95 and you're like, uh, what was a Dino? What was a, there was one Dino bike that was super detour detour Dino D, D, detour and some other stuff. And I was like, mm, what is this garbage? <laughs> you know, uh, cause I had, I had a Dino slammer. It was my, one of my first bikes. I had it sophomore year in high school and it was an old and one. That's why you love those cranes. And that's why I love, yeah, I love it. Yeah. The, oh man. Um, you still ride those cranes? Yeah. I ride them now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. Yeah. But I, I, I guess for me, Dino was way cooler, you know, and I have, you know, I have, um, you know the dino helmet, the open face one you always yeah. wear? I have one. I have mine. No kidding. So I haven't worn a helmet. I never wore a helmet you could, throughout history. In the last like uh, three or four years, I started wearing a helmet, but I think all helmets look stupid. And so my, my parents just one day was like, oh, we have found this helmet of yours. And it's my GT Dino one from wow. the early 90s. And so I was like, oh, cool. I'll repaint it and I'll resurface the inside. And then I got it and I redid the inside, but it has all, I kept the outside. It's all the stickers from when I was. Yeah, uh, it's cool. Looking. It's cool. You know what I mean? Awesome. And own personal stickers. Yeah. It's, it's uh, but for me, it's like. Childhood stickers. It, I guess I see that helmet and it feels like BMX to me. Like it, that, those open face, open face helmets to me felt like what BMX feels like. Cause now I see people in skate helmets and it doesn't feel like BMX, you know, it feels like. The first time I got shot out of a cannon. We, we you know? were, yeah, we were gladiators though, right? Yeah, like that's for sure. Kind of at that time, we were just like, yeah, for we sure. At least some piper. of these guys are wearing a helmet. What's you that? Know, at least some of these guys are wearing a helmet. Yeah, you know, which I think. I that's know. why you're so pretty. No, it's, <laughs> duh. Some some stuff that's going down. I think they need to have a helmet on. Yeah, it is crazy Absolutely. sometimes. You know, sometimes. I mean, especially uh, Rams. I like Dennis. You know and. Your son are wearing a helmet, doing what they're doing, you know. Oh, because there's been some big injuries. You yeah, know? It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, and with you, you Pete, know? I always felt like there was a comp- like, even though, and I didn't know your guys' relationships to each other back then. Well, how could I? But I wouldn't have guessed you guys were friends. Thinking about the man, because you were always yeah. in a jersey, yeah. right? Everything, yeah. and you always seemed fucking aggro. Well, you know what I mean, like not angry, same, but aggro. Not, we come from the same. You East know, County. Yeah, the, the same area. We wrote all the same stuff. You know, it's like, and Dave was, uh, you know, even though he was a sponsored rider, we always considered him part of our our group, you know, that yeah. Uh, yeah. that we were stoked that, you know, we had Dave to brag about. You know, what about Dave gets here to Mission Trails. You guys are doing oh, Mission <laughs> Trails. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, I mean, like, what's an average day riding in, like, 1980 for you guys? Like, uh, we would ride to a spot. So a bunch of us would get together and we'd like, where are we going to go today? And be Balboa Park downtown. It'd be Mission Trail. So mm-hmm. we'd, we'd ride our bikes there because we were all broke. We didn't have a vehicle. And yeah. as we're riding, you're starting out with four or five, and then you're picking up yeah, people you're picking the up. whole yeah, way. Along the way. So yeah, it's yeah. sick. And, yeah. then, and then you're meeting people there. And, and um, it, the vibe was really good. And we just all hung out and just tried to gather enough money to get a burrito and you know, some beer and go ride. We'd also used to go to Tijuana skate park a lot. Oh man. I'm so dude, sad. I, that I never got to ride that. And it was the same. shittiest skate park. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? It looked, it, <laughs> it looked, but so it was fantastic. amazing at the same time. <laughs> yes, it yeah. was just like, yeah, it was, there was, had a wall, ri- a had a wall ride. Like you never every, had wall rides at skate parks. Yeah. It was always a story. Every time you went down there, you know, there always something happened, yeah. you know, I remember when Moeller went down there, it was right around Christmas time. And, uh, he was coming across that bridge and, and I think the sun was just setting. 
or it just set and he started taking a pee because he had to pee real bad. And immediately a, a, a woman federally rolled right up on him and uh, wanted money. Ended up taking the skate bar, the skateboard from him. And no I, way. Yeah. And I, and I told him, I'm like, that's probably her kid's uh, Christmas present, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> what, what, when did, I mean, if you had to, who, who were, if you had to like try to think who the original Dirt Brothers were? Well, it's, it's, it's Vic, right? Vic. Ronnie, Carlo. Ronnie Farmer? Yeah, yeah. Ronnie Farmer. Carlo Wick. Okay. Uh, Brad Blanchard. Brad Blanchard. Those, Those four. Those are the original. Okay. I'm kind of in there a little bit. You know, I was up in um, L.A. area at that time. Vic and I hung out together. He was doing a job up there. And everything was kind of starting. This with, is late 80s? Yeah, this is, uh, everything's kind of starting with those guys in Bully, right? Okay. And RL's doing the Bully thing. And uh, he hooked those guys up. And it was just like maybe six months or so after that, I moved, relocated back down to San Diego. And uh, we just started hanging out all the time. So, like, immediately I was part of that crew, crew you know. And the, and the Dirt but Brother But the original frame, guys are, are those four, four guys. Yeah. And what are the what are the Dirt Brother frames? What other bike was it? It was a different bike. Skyway. 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 That's, That's right. Line Forks. That's right. Skyway. So we all rode pretty much the same setup. We all had Skyway, TA, Redline Forks. Redline forklifter stem, and I rode redline bars because for that I had the redline hookup, and then they were riding the and bully those, bar. Were those these bars, yeah, the four yeah. piece bars, and then bully came out with their four piece bars, and we started riding. I, those I keep well. looking up at the picture, know, right? it's it's look at the parts. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, that's the bike right there. Yeah, much. yeah. yeah so uh, we all Shad, rode, Shad has that bike, and everybody would be he like, "Oh, they, they, he has that bike." Fuck. Yeah, you know, when it comes yeah. to riding a mag on the front or a mag on the back or mag rims or. Uh, you know, aluminum rims, it's just what was available to you yeah. at the time because everything broke pretty much every time every day. you went out and rode your bike. Every day. Things would break. Kids don't know what this is. No. You know, <laughs> or, or, or this with your forks. Yeah. 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 They, you know, with the I hose say clamp that kid. Those, yeah. those two things were an everyday, every day. Yeah. yeah. Every you know, day. everybody is like, who's got the set of Allen wrenches with them or yeah. whatever, yeah. you know, is like the Piper wrench. Basically. Oh my yeah. God. Can you think about how many headset cups you broke? Yeah. Every day. All the time breaking headset cups and blowing out the your uh, forks or something it, the, the, I'll, I'll people see old photos and it's like why are you running one mag i'm like yeah that's, that's what i had because it know? wouldn't break and it's what my yeah. friend had in his garage when my front tire was yeah like, jacked up remember yeah. z rims yeah z rims oh, yeah. do you know what z rims are horrible i do you put them in the freezer and <laughs> yeah. yeah that was yeah. always yeah. on i think uh, i had one honestly i think thing. i bought one that was like very early and i tried to lace it with like peregrines and <laughs> i'd never like i had no concept of how to do it and just yeah. like Murdered the flanges <laughs> on the paragraph. <laughs> and stuff. I, like I was so stressed out. Yeah, the advice back then was just so terrible. Yeah. And I don't even understand why people collect them because they were all junk. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. Why are you guys putting like three to five thousand dollars in this? Piece in the Kmart shop? bikes, yeah. literally Kmart bikes. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, yeah, it's, they're Kmart it's bikes. Bizarre to me that the whole collector thing. I, I don't get it at all. Well, shame on you. Well, I mean, Shad with that bike. I mean, why that is coll <laughs> collect? Because I collect uh, that. I mean, oh, well. That too, is, but no, that that's yeah. serious. Yeah. Right and having there. that is incredible, you know, yeah. having that bike. That yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no. But not like, collect a fucked up Z rim. Like, no, well, yeah, maybe yeah. Not. I only so. collect the Bascard bikes. That's it. Yeah. I, maybe yeah. I'm bashing it too much, the collectors. No, but you think about it, you'll see a photo of like, there's a famous old photo of Dominguez at, um, at Kona doing like a 10 foot air out of that most chunk. Amazing photo. Yes. But you're like, that's on a Kmart bike. Yeah. yeah. He's everybody, and everybody. If I put it together, there's nothing tight on it. No. <laughs> it was one large crescent wrench. Yeah, yeah. That's it. The the thing is, is every single time you see someone leave the ground, they're probably yeah, they're, yeah. they're almost dying. Yeah. Front end's gonna shear off every time. I don't even know if kids think about it these days. I keep saying kids, guys. Yeah, well, whatever, yeah, humans, riders. yeah, yeah. because yeah, yeah. I'm so freaking old. Um, if they even think about their bike anymore. Do no, they, they don't. No, they, no, no. Because you thought no. about your bike every time you went to do something. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna go try, uh, you know, no foot of one hand or off. Is my bike gonna hold up? Break, you know? yeah. Like seriously, that's how it was. If I yeah, jump this gap, are my cranks gonna break? Yeah, Cause yeah. you have one pieces, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna break my cranks and just tear my shin from yeah. you know ankle yeah. to knee. Yeah, that's breaks. why I rode yeah. one piece most of the time. Because you know, everybody been, had their right? flights and everything. And, and they like, broke all the time. Yeah, it's like I just rode one piece because it was just cheap and simple to take them off. And Except for they'd be bent. Bend to say, <laughs> yeah, but you could just, jump on them. You could them jump on them and bend them back. Yeah. yeah, get them back the other way. You could so, jump, but yeah. also like every time you did a gap, you're like, this yeah. might be the end of this wheel and I can't get another one. And, and, and the tires were so small. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they were yeah. so small. Yeah. There was no. <laughs> today you got five. suspension with these <laughs> no. big old. They're pizza cutters. Yeah. yeah. 
Pizza cutters. Uh, when when did you officially become like a pro bike rider? Is there is there like a moment? Um, no, I guess not. I guess because of the street contest, it just kind of folded which street, into which street contest? <laughs> which one? <laughs> the very first one, right? Which one's that? I guess the Santee. Uh, Santee went the wall ride. Yeah, with the wall ride. Yeah. Was that the first street contest? Absolutely, the, in with, my town, dude. Yeah. In the, with the with the with the shopping cart on the ground. Yeah. That yeah. one. Uh, yeah, oh, with no. the car. The, yeah, the yeah, spray yeah. paint all over his tail. Tail foot plant. Hey, it's your tail foot plant go photo. <laughs> yeah, there he is right, right. there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Uh, yeah. Man, I, uh, they oh. built something there now, so that that's parking lot's way smaller now. I think. Um, well, it's still there. Yeah, it's, it's got a curb there. at the bottom, and that's yeah, it's still there. exactly. Uh, wow, pretty much the same. Yeah, it's still it's still there. It's you know still what? Exists. You know what's cool is the palm tree that I used to do wall rides uh-huh. around. Now is like thirty foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> I have pictures of it. So what's it? Because I was there recently. It's so funny. I, I don't have a shirt on because Cole never has a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> look at how many. I mean, do contests? Look at how many, I mean, was there? It seems like a lot of people are there. Scott but, Town, but there right? really was for that something was that was brand there. new and nobody. Is that Muller behind it over his shoulder? Yeah, that it was, looks like it. Yeah, that was me. I think I just rolled behind him. That palm tree. Yeah, dude, so high. Sorry for the stack. That, I, don't, that I think Todd that's Anderson? just built, built into this video. Look how hardcore people were back then. I know. I RL know. killed it that day, by the way. Damn. RL did really well. I was impressed. So, what was the backstory? This is a Wilkerson event, right? Yeah. So, so first meet the street, right? Wilkerson just decided to do this. He needed a location. He saw the wall and said, "Okay, well, we could just throw a few things out here and uh, do a contest. No permits, no nothing." He just, never had permits or yeah. anything. It was always so shady. Damn, that, so was, that shady. switch wall ride back yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Did did was it was that business open? Uh, it, it, it was, was just a thrifty alley, um, just a back alley type yeah, of deal. And no cop shut it down. The cops showed up, and uh, the sheriff's station was across the street, <laughs> and they they came over and uh, let it go. Uh, shout out to them. Let us do it. That's awesome. And uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, oh there, Jimmy Arrington. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> this so is this Jimmy is considered was a dirt the f- brother and nobody yeah. knows it yeah. hardly, yeah. right? As far as I know, I always say I call this out for Jimmy. He's the first person to ever manual a bench. Yes. Yeah. According to according nice. to Dick. That's so, Todd nice. Anderson. Yeah. Um yeah. so did like this is widely regarded as the first ever street contest. Absolutely. And that and and is this like when this footage dropped and the photos came out and stuff i assume it just kind of made instant it, people instant legends in a in a sense there's me and grasso right? grasso yeah yeah there. yeah like uh vic murphy you know i didn't know much about him and he showed up at this and just absolutely destroyed it and then you got to see people that you know were handicapped at Ooh. ramp contest it, being able to express themselves yeah. a whole different way yeah and uh people like grasso were shining i mean what a creative mind you know yeah, so you saw, you know, at this contest, you see some Flatlanders and you see some vert riders. But once you get into the <laughs> next couple street contests, you start seeing the dirt jump. Oh, there's uh, Rich Bartlett. So Bartlett. you start seeing the like the racer guys coming out to the street contest yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. really? Mad Dog. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and Dave Klein. Oh, yeah, because like, Dog Springs won. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it was, it was awesome to just see all these different groups of people coming together, you know, to ride street. Oh, a lot of tank tops. <laughs> yeah, Surprisingly, well, the, the kids that are watching that this right now are just going, what right the heck? This I is mean, so dude. corny, but yeah. it was untapped. It's the it best dudes just, in the world at the time, right? Dude, it, it was nobody was doing anything at this time. I mean, that's crazy. So it's being yeah. created oh, as we're here. That is so gnarly. Yeah, he probably just did that for the first time. Damn, <laughs> the other thing, was this, was this the first time that people were together like this? Yeah. Like riding Street? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh wow. And it feels kind of like a little bit jam format a bit. Is oh, it or was it runs? I kind of blew that. Yeah, one. that was. Well, the box couldn't handle you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Dave Vanderspeck. Oh, that's Vanderspeck. Respect. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Look at you. There's the Volker. <laughs> that's always a bad look right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave, God. Right into this it. This is where he blows Ooh, his tailbone out. You right? know, Crew Jones it? did. Nah. No. It's, you try to jump the whole thing or some shit. Yeah. yeah. I like that you pedaled your ass off to the wall ride. You weren't even out of the dirt yet. You're pedaling back down. <laughs> <in the chair. laughs> 
So after this contest, I, did it separate sort of like, did it, did it start a new phase of like, oh, there's a new force to be reckoned with with Street Riders? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. This Opened is where up. you really saw it changing was right here. I feel like I'm talking too much. No, I like it. No, you're, you're right. I'll give you I'll give you the hand signal. I'll be like, I'll Ooh, that, was, <laughs> that was so advanced right Yeah, there. that was the wall ride five, right? Yep. Wow. wow. Wall ride three or yeah, five. Yeah, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But turned out to be yeah. a five, yeah. no matter what. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a butt blower. Yeah. And look how Dave shakes it off. This is oh. the best. Look, you know his ass is hurting so bad. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> That was a God tailbone, you, dude. dude. Broke your tailbone. That's a waddle for days <laughs> right there. So it's Vic Murphy, in, Scott Town, Mike Golden, Rich Bartlett. Mike Golden's the only name I don't recognize. That guy ripped. Mark Rolden, Todd Anderson. George Smoot. James Arrington. George, oh. dude. Love George. Wild. The... the I did a whole tour with George Smoot. What year? Him announcing. This would have been in the 90s, right? Or yeah. Was it late, earlier? Uh, maybe 90. I yeah. don't know. Somewhere around there. And uh, so he, he's announcing the whole time. I don't know anything about this guy. And we've been on the road for about three weeks. And all of a sudden, we're at a skate park and he rode. And I was like, holy crap, I didn't even know you knew how to ride. One of the most underrated riders ever. Yes. Is it? Yes. George Smoot. George Smoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude. Super intelligent guy, mad scientist, and he ripped, dude. Big old giant tail whips and stuff. I was just going, who are you? So he was, so I lived about 13 miles from Brian Castillo, and George lived just around the corner. Yeah. So like George was like the local pro for Brian, and that's how I met George. So he was kind of like the guy who was pro before when we'd ride. And he, like, he's the first dude I ever saw go up a rail. Like he didn't go, he didn't like, we were all looking at like, it was right before we really started doing rails, and George goes, I'd rather go up it. And he just, the El Dorado, he just bunny ups and grinds and then hops off. And yeah. Like, oh. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. But we never thought anything about it yeah. ever again. But he could have took two more cranks and gone all the way up it. Wow. But like things like that that I just, you, that people do. And you're like, mm. yeah. Yeah, he, he was, he kind of made a comeback mid, mid 90s too. He rode for GT again and he made a, he went to all the BS contests and did okay for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. He showed up at Chicago. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you're at that, during that Meet the Street event, you're sponsored by who? Dino, uh, yeah, yeah, and and who else? Some uh, just Dino because they made everything right. You okay. got Dino shoes, you got clothing, you got all the parts. Every part is GT or Dino, so I couldn't have any co-sponsors. And are you are you what is like a are you a professional bike rider at that point? I uh, during, like I, are you getting I, I paid or getting paid, are you working? Yeah. Are Do you, you have to have another, another job? job? No, I was able to survive oh, okay. off of my twelve hundred a month or whatever. And then, it was. were you doing shows at the same time as, as all of this? Too? Always shows. Were yeah. you so that was the side money, right? Okay, like, yeah, all like right. Income. It was yeah, bread and butter. You got photo contingency as well for pictures in the magazines. Uh, okay. You know, I didn't because I think GT advertised so much that <laughs> you are guaranteed coverage that yeah, way. Yeah. So they're not going to pay you for something that they're paying for. for. Yeah. yeah. Was there? I mean, I guess it's kind of a like at that point, I always heard that like advertisers got covers and stuff like that. Like, yeah, was that like an did. actual? I, like, I believe it was yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Definitely Fudger, water. you're acting like it's not that way now. Uh, there is, well, well, <laughs> well, one, there is no one. There is no cover. No, but I mean, and it's the same two, thing now, though. Your pitch pay to play. Well, yeah, there's pay to play in the sense of like we're required to do a certain amount of posts, but it's not like we're it's not like we're going to choose like, oh, we have two posts a day. So we're going to choose two. Ad you know, it's like, yeah, uh, we so just do four posts a day now. You know, I think but, they could buy the yeah. position, you yeah. know, of where it is like cover inside cover, like where the ad is, how big the ad that, is. That for sure. But the during the ride days, the cover was never for sale. At least, oh, at least it. for no, in the sense of like. You could see it. Yeah. Oh, like, I, I, I could see that. Yeah. You could see it. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was very obvious that Did, it was. Yeah. I mean, so late eighties, would you say the late eighties was the biggest boom of your career as far as like how big you thought bike riding was going to get? Uh, yeah. I, the, the money definitely wasn't there. You know what I mean? The money's already gone. Like, but were the other guys on yeah. GT getting paid a lot? Oh yeah. So uh, like well, when I time, first started, BMX yes. is dying though. It's right dying. Yeah. But, but you were like my, I'm trying to get to the point where you wrote for Dino. It was a smaller version but but were you're you're doing the same job as let's say a Josh White or an Eddie Fiola, but were your paychecks different because you were on Dino? Yeah, and I was just not developed yet. I guess so yeah, I guess at the late '80s I was very well known and stuff. But the money was seriously gone at that point, and those writers were gone, right? Like yeah, they and were. Wh out so why, in like from your perspective, why did the industry die at that point? Pete, <sighs> my perspective, <laughs> I think it was just flooded and saturated, and yeah. I think people were looking for something 
different that they could identify with, and that's why Street took off so yeah rapidly. I think they're sick of. I mean, for myself, I think it was just I, it was earlier for me to be done with wearing a uniform and being confined to these rules of the contest or being a show guy or you know what it took to ride for one of these companies you had to meet a certain criteria an image yeah. you know so and if you didn't fall into that category you're asked out you didn't have a sponsor it didn't matter how good of a rider you were mm -hmm. so that's what it was kind of for me and i think it needed a cleansing you know bmx that's just how i feel about it okay, i could be totally wrong so no, I, I mean, feel like it needed a cleansing, and at that time, it was happening, and street was becoming popular, and you know, you saw like the riders that were. Uh, it's hard for me to say if they were just in it for the money, you mm -hmm. know, because I'm sure they loved to ride BMX. But once that that money was gone, a lot of riders disappeared. Yeah, yeah, and that's where I feel like the cream, you know, came to the top, top and mm -hmm. all the good riders like Dave, you know, and. You know, the, like Vic Murphy and Craig Campbell and guys like that, like really stepped up to, you know, obviously Wilkerson and Hoffman keeping the sport alive. Yes. And yeah. and, and we're out there at contest for three hundred dollar purses. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Like, there was nothing in it. You yeah. know? It would cost more to get to the contest than you could win. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. And for me, it was kind of like earlier on, like I figured it not figured it out, but it was just happening for me where I was getting sponsors outside of the BMX sponsors. Like, like what? Lisa Beach, Rector Pads, stuff yeah. like that, you know, uh, Airwalk Shoes. Bad Boy um, Club? Yeah, Bad Boy Club. <laughs> cool, bro. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that was early on. You know, yeah. everybody else was still wearing their uniforms and stuff, and I had yeah. these sponsors outside of BMX, which – I didn't need to have a bicycle sponsor. That's awesome. It sounds familiar it, to a lot of to examples. Me, like yeah, yeah, to me, I was, yeah, I didn't have to have. I didn't have to ride for a company because there wasn't a company that wanted me to ride for them. Mm -hmm. so, it means you didn't have to go to contests. You don't do anything. I didn't have to do anything. Life's the beach was totally relaxed. Like they would say, "Hey, there's this con. You want to go to it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm going to get dad dead last." And I'm like, "Man, nah, maybe I'll get some photos in the magazine." Yeah. You know, and that's how it was. And then, so I mean, it sounds like polar opposite because you're still wearing the uniform, doing absolutely, shows, yeah, got to wear that. a helmet, then, yeah. street riding. Right? I'm making yeah. my money from those sponsors, and they were small checks, but they all added up. And know. then I got photo contingency, and yeah. Life's the Beach paid me really well for that. Mm -hmm. You know, would they pay you? Do you Depending remember? on where it was, I think a cover or some, I'd get like a thousand bucks. Or wow, something. that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah nineteen yeah. Wow. eighties, late eighties. Was so. when was the year for both of you that it went away? Like where you're like, oh, we got to get jobs, um, or this isn't this isn't covered. That was anymore. always for me. So you always had a job. Yeah, I always had a job. Got it. I feel What'd like you you're do? the type of dude that like kind of idle hands though too. Like you're like, oh, I'd, I like working a job because then I can like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, yeah. I did like construction stuff, you mm -hmm. know. And maybe not but, then, if you had to do construction. Yeah. But, <laughs> what about you, Dave? You, know, you did whatever. I did whatever you know, whatever job I could get, you know. Yeah. Except for weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's so the many. There's like, so many things I want to well, say. I, I like, saw Mike's say? mind racing. No, no. <laughs> uh, what, uh, like what kind of stuff? What kind of, what kind of, kind of stuff, Pete? <laughs> Early you internet? ain't that far Early from the border. Uh, uh, no, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, with you, Dave, did that ever stop? Because I do feel like there was a time like I, so I, yeah, sorry, I sort warms of up in here after a little bit. I sort of got into up. it like 1990, right? 1990, I had some, I had like my bikes. Well, I got a Dino 89 Dino Slammer, but I, you were. It was past that little era of like all the skate. You know what I mean? The Jersey era, and it was moving into into kind of what that was at that time. Yeah. But then it seemed like you, not that you disappeared, but you disappeared for a bit. I, I disappeared just out doing my stuff, my shows. And, okay. You know, and that that's all I did. I did shows like. So you never stopped doing shows. Thousands of shows. How many, how many per year? I, I couldn't put a number on it, yeah. like, but I mean, I would drive up to Huntington beach where GT was like three times a week to go do school shows all the time. And like, I was just back and forth traveling all over the world what about yeah i mean like the road show like it like that's that's always what i think of is like the flip you know like i mean from when you first started what was 85 you said you yeah. did, did the scurra shows for yeah. did, for dino and then literally you were i mean when was the last time you did a show five years ago uh, about yeah, oh, eight, wait, eight, eight years ago okay, now. I was literally I, I blew not my, expecting I blew to say my eight, yeah, was eight, eight weeks. Was ago. the pool party the last time you rode like road road? What's that? Was the pool party? Yeah, yeah that yeah. was after my surgery. It was after too. your surgery. Yeah. You told me because we had that pool party. Yeah, and he's. I asked him to come. He's like, I haven't really ridden. I'm like, it doesn't matter. 
just go. Just go. Still do that. <laughs> right? Yeah, I tried. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Well, you can still do the foot plan, but we'll talk. We'll do a whole segment about the foot plan. But yeah. like the oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna stay on the shows. Like what you know. Uh, when was the peak of that, you know, like, or the peak era? Like, I always just think of Perenni and you guys and what it was, Trevor Meyer. And Woody oh, my and God, dude. Like, yeah. and like, but, but then the mid-90s, I got my best friends on the team. Yeah. They were off ha Haro at this time, which is Dave Noria and Brian Blyther, and they both got on GT, and now I'm traveling the world with my buddies. You and, know? and that was yeah. mid-90s? Yeah. That oh, I didn't weird. know that. Yeah. yeah, It seems like you would go to Haro, then them go to GT. <laughs> 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 well, I was always a Haro rider. Like they always wanted me on there, and I always wanted to be on there. But I'm, but a, I'm a really, I'm a, I'm a smart, you. I'm yeah. a smart dumb yeah. guy. Like <laughs> I knew my my foundation. I knew where to stay. Yeah. Like I had this instinct of what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, but like also Dino, legacy. you were Dino. Right. I mean, the way I saw it, at least. I mean, I I can't think of anyone else. I mean, there's Dino, but like. I wasn't well, was a ramp Brett, rider, Brett Hernandez, but right? I wasn't. Yeah. Is he a flatlander or street rider? Flatlander. Flatlander. But I went a flatlander, no, was, so it didn't it matter. Brett. Brett yeah, but I, I didn't care about flatland because I wasn't a flatlander yeah. and I wasn't really a ramp rider. So yeah. to me, you were Dino. Right. We're on Haro. You would have been a, a lot of other big fish to compete well, with. Well, that's, yep, why yeah. I didn't go and, right and there. And the legacy yeah. You nailed it. Of, yeah. Because to me, Haro was Hoffman, right? It didn't matter who else was on the team. It was Hoffman in the 90s. Yeah. Right? Or in the early 90s, late 80s. Yeah. 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 Um, what were what were those shows like? Like, what, you know, you you've been to every single state twenty times, I assume at this point, except for Alaska. Except you've for never Alaska. been to Alaska? Never. Come on, man. Yeah. Never up there to go Our fishing. Biggest state. Never been there. Yeah. Come on, man. What? Uh, I mean, what were those days like? You know, like I, I thought it was bitching because you didn't have the social media. So I was out there personally mm -hmm. showing the sport to people that, you know, I still have people come up to me and go, you know, I saw a show and it inspired me to ride and I've been doing it ever since, mm -hmm. you know, like, so I was going to small towns all over and just making people smile. And, uh, yeah, it just kept going and going and going. Like, what did it do for your riding? I guess at that, it point. hurt. Yeah, it definitely. <laughs> it hurt your riding. Yeah. Yeah, you, mid nineties. I, I came out of retirement to do the X Games. Yeah, in San Diego, it was yeah. ninety seven, and I did it just because I was able to show my friends what I was out doing for a living. Yeah, like because they they could look at a magazine picture, but they can't feel what's going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, so that's why I did the X Games. I wanted to do ninety seven only, but then I did ninety eight, and then uh, GT forced me to go ninety nine two thousand. I remember at that yeah, ninety seven okay. X Games. Here, there's um, 97 right here. Yeah, you did a wall ride. We both had the same line. Wall ride across the big six foot at six foot, and then we flipped that hip. Oh, yeah. And I was like, get off my wave, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got like one trick, Dave. Well, this is, I, I'm in the crowd here, oh. and I remember, would you get second place? Uh, third. Third. And second loser. And a Second loser. Sorry, that's what I meant. And I remember. This is it right here. We had this same line right here. Dude. Beat. Right into the flip. Oh, no, you did 450, but you did do that flip, too. It's so funny. Do you have a chest protector on? Or oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I did so much fakie crashing that I always wore a chest <laughs> protector. Well, isn't this how this, isn't this how this, how this ends, right? Like double spine to that contest. It never ends well with Dave. <laughs> yeah, it ends up on my back. <laughs> Damn, that was a high flip. God damn it. <laughs> Look how big just, that course just was. Just full on huck. Dude, I think how tired I was. It wasn't like I was eating right, you know. Yeah. I just had a carne asada burrito or something. <laughs> <laughs> monster energy drink. Look, like it just huffing and puffing. Yeah, I was around. just saying that. Yeah. Yeah. How many yeah. drinks? Man. And think about it. I haven't been out contest for years, and I'm just sitting here going, "Uh, I'm gonna." Dude, how it. long is this the was, run? This was a big deal for me. Is being it? on the deck with you? Oh, I remember. Right going, yeah, I'm mean, right there in the red shirt. The uh, I, I I I remember going like, "Holy shit!" I'm in the same <laughs> same thing as Dave. That was sick. You know, like this was, it was a big deal. Like, not that I was like a threat because it wasn't, I didn't ever felt like that, but just there that I was just like, I'm getting to be on the deck at a contest with like a dude that was like important to me riding right, uh, here growing up. That's awesome. And that, cool to this, hear that. And this is the one where you try the, the fakey, the fakey wall to flip, uh, right? It is was it, uh 98. I was in 98. One. Okay. Yeah, that I, so this isn't, it's for the people who don't know, this is, is this the first X Games? First, no, uh, no, 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 90, no, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90
you were a hometown hero in a sense. And I remember the crowd booing when you got third. Uh, they all chanted bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rat. The yeah. whole crowd was going bullshit. And then, <sighs> and then a uh, swope got on and he was like, Hey, you guys, there's a lot more to it than just going out and doing a bunch of backflips. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But to me, yeah. I won because I got the crowd into yeah. it. Yeah. And that was what I did Look for a living. Look how many people are in the stands there too. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. See, just ah. doing stupid stuff like that, uh, just you, to entertain people. You're in yeah. second. I'm going to say you got second. Well, I'm you know what I'm, happened. I'm okay, I'm in second. <laughs> Dennis McCoy's up. He does a no-footed can-can backflip. Nobody's uh, ever done it before. It. Oh, yeah. He got their yeah. attention and got the silver. Yeah. Who did that? Dennis McCoy. McCoy. Damn. Yeah. Is this the same video? Never seen it since. 232, 331, run two. Ooh, all right, run here we two. go. We'll, we'll just... Let's finish this out. Full Look circle. This. It's just Complete so gross circle. to watch at this point, you know, because the kids are so smooth. Like Cole, yeah. for example, my yeah. son, he's like so like technical on being stylish and smooth. And I was just like, I just want to pedal as fast as I can and hit something. Yeah, but, but, but right you know, did we, you nose bonk that? This was going to be the flip one. I was yeah. going to do it right away. And then my team manager, Woody Itson, was like, uh, you should probably try that later since <laughs> you've never tried it before. <laughs> what is what is, he, what is it to know? Yeah. <laughs> what does Woody know? Thank God I did save it. Right there was supposed to be so huge, oh. and I totally blew the pump. blew it. Absolutely. This was such a terrible obstacle here in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. There was nowhere to go. Nah. Another wall Dude. ride right yeah. to the flip. Cranking so I'm saying hard. I'm flip this time. <laughs> Flipping the hip, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, get off my line, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it was 90 second run, huh? Uh, it might have been 90 or two minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah. But you needed it because there was 700 feet of flat bottom between yeah. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that oh. would have been dope. Were you trying to move a cut that? Sorry, yeah. Taco Bell. What a. So you were, you say you were retired, so you retired from competition, but yeah. obviously you're doing show rider. I hated competition. Okay. I yeah, hated yeah, the, yeah. Uh, I wasn't a racer. Right. I didn't want to be number one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Doing shows and making people Thank smile you. was always the the deal, you know. Yeah, and uh, people don't know flip fakies didn't happen a ton. And there was no way of figuring out how to do them. Either, yeah, they didn't know? happen you had a to ton. Pay the so, piper. Yeah, there's only like three or four dudes doing them, and there's only like see, I think a couple dudes who pulled. Them. So what's about to happen is your run is over. It's like here we go. Here we go. Here is, we go. In my mind, it was going to be simple. Yeah. It was going to be I just mean, like a flip fake. It was kind of close. <laughs> Didn't look that simple. It was close. I, so when I landed on the wall, there was so much force into the wall, it felt like I was riding a limo bike. Like I couldn't yeah, lift the nothing. front end yeah. off the wall. But I like that you still went for it. I mean, it, it was a good idea in my head. It yeah. was simple. I mean, talking about what, what Rooftop was saying is uh, like the up the rail thing. Like what nobody, well, one, I don't think anybody's ever legitimately done a faggy wall ride to flip out no but, they, but and yeah. it took forever for somebody to do a wall ride to flare too yeah. so i mean there's a good reason why i mean you saw them off trees but that's not the same no yeah Those trees are like transitions pipe, yeah but um so was there so you said gt made you ride the next well you did the next one or two right well and i then, did so good with the tv and yeah, stuff they yeah. were like hey man you gotta go to these cons because so. i remember you were at seal beach too you tried a 900 at Seal Beach. Hmm. You did. Hmm. See, this yeah. is good. Seal Beach, you tried a 900. You tried a 900. It came relatively close. Nice. And I remember thinking, I'm like, can Dave I, I should have pulled one off when I was at Woodward. There was a vert contest. And that day I was on those 900s. I would have been the first one ever. But my front end never touched. And I just kept rotating. Oh, before and anybody had done it? Twice, one? yeah. Who was the first Twice, one to do it? Uh, I know this. Which okay. is proper. I'm yeah, glad yeah. he yeah. was the first one. And then, but you, it. Dominguez was trying him too? Right? Yeah. Dominguez first one Dominguez was like, a, like three or house. four people yeah. in the hunt for the 900. Yeah. Dominguez, yeah. You, Dominguez, Matt, and I want to say. Blyther was kind of toying with him too, but yeah. Because when we when we did the legend video, I think we put one of the nine hundred clips, like the pulled ones. It would have like been pop up, and you're like, like you, I, I, was I can't bummed, hear it, but dude. I'm pretty sure you're like, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was bummed because it finally ended. We were all anticipating this trick for so long. Who's yeah. gonna get it in a contest? Dominguez said he pulled it at his house, which you believe for sure, but there was no proof. Yeah. So the first one in a contest was documented, and yeah. Matt 
Matt Get did it that. In Canada, right? Yeah, yeah in Canada. This, this do, did right you? Um, do you remember that? I don't know what 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 event the, is this? Oh, this is in Texas. Oh, uh, this dock. Flint, Michigan. Oh, no, is no, it? No, it's Texas this? on the dock. Right when you launch into the water. Oh, that's <laughs> better footage of this. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, I have great photos of you from that event. Really, the Texas the, one? The Texas one. I, I have some of the best. I, I know there's there. a can can one. I, I have a no hander one know, of you. It's awesome. It's great. Nice. Um, now that you brought that up, I will just pause on this. So from that X Games, I I bought a like a point and shoot camera from like uh, Circuit City or something like that. Now defunct thing. And now like, now re- who sounds old? And then return. <laughs> yeah, and then I am old. You're just older. <laughs> and uh, and returned it afterwards because I didn't have any actual money, you know. And uh, I shot photos, went and got them developed, brought them back the next day. And Double had, prints? And had, probably, <laughs> yeah. And had you sign them, had Mira, Nike no sign way. them. And I fucking lost them somewhere. They're, I think they're at the, they were at the ride office or something. They just got filed away somewhere. But uh, Mira, I remember Mira being like, because I was just like, geeking out. And yeah, and I had like five of them designed. He's like, what are you going to sell these things or something? And then, and then, and so it was like kind of a little negative yeah. tint on it. And you, you signed everything. And you're like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. You know, like you were just so <laughs> psyched and you signed everything. And I was like, Volker. Nice. Volker. Right on. So. Um, I, I was just always go, happy go lucky, and like yeah. I said, I didn't want to be number one. And, yeah, yeah. And GT was all about being number one. Well, well, I was trying to find that nine hundred before. There's I, a nine hundred I pulled in uh, you, Budapest, so you pulled Hungary. Them. So you pulled them. I I just did one. It was, was at it? this. I couldn't ride this, this half it? pipe. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's that is it. It. yeah, that is yeah, it. that is one of them. Yeah, that was the so, only one. That was oh, in Arizona because I never did. Arizona. Look how yeah. close. Look. Yeah. That was in where? That's uh, Woodward. <laughs> Woodward. This is in Budapest, Hungary, where I just was sucking on the ramp. So I was like, I got to do something for these people. Man. <laughs> and that's the only one you ever pulled? Only one I ever pulled because I just never tried one again. <laughs> I did it. I one did. and done. We'll, yeah. get to the, we'll get to the rock. But, no way. <laughs> but, I mean. Look at yeah. dude who's oh, Look how upside God, down. Upside that down. So that would have been the first one right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, my God. God. Just a weird dude. five or nine, I should say, but. Dude, yeah, you're pumping it through the through the whole rotation. Wow, it's so weird, and, and I, I I hate I hate always saying this, but 900s then are so much more dangerous than 900s now. Yeah, because your bike would rip. Well, right yeah, now. but you know, just the, <laughs> just the way people spin them now, yeah, is like yeah. this. Because now you can kind of walk out of them onto the deck the way they do them, sort of corked. You know what I mean? You can yeah, sort of yeah. get out of it. These were just so deadly. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like the normal the the traditional 540 almost doesn't even exist anymore. No, because it's absolutely frightening. Yeah, it's yeah. like rarely it, do you see anybody you're, do. You're so committed to it. That the, the last person I saw do a 900, the the correct way was nike was tried when i think in australia one of those vans contests mm, in a bowl yeah and then some other kid did a bar spin one or a tail up one or something on a quarter pipe that was insane yeah. oh my but God. it was like a legit Probably a bar one yeah a legit yeah. spin one yeah yeah, yeah. but it's it is a big difference when you start getting the whole upside down rotation and it's yeah. it, it's yeah. it's a it's hard i mean i we just i just got into it thank you for that for pinning my con- comment on i did i pin it you yeah you pinned it i didn't know I, I, <laughs> yeah so other people other people are also on the on the our got it Instagram, they pinned so it so somebody else pinned your comment but it, and, and, and it was a <laughs> comment funny it's funny that they did that though. <laughs> you know because you just know you know so he's mean? talking about the the R. Willie, williams yeah and he did a 900 flare it said and i am an r willie fan so it's something that it was i just was like i don't see the i don't see the flare part all i see is a 1260 which I think is way gnarlier, yeah. right? And if you watch it, there's it's a twelve sixty. I, I can't see. Well, they all they all are twelve sixties because yeah. they are they are those rotations. It's just it just gets crazy. It just depends like on what angle you're looking you're like, at. Huh. So you get upside down. If you're looking, your bike's at a different. Yeah, yeah. you're at a different but you, angle, right? Yeah. And yeah. depending if where you're looking at it, if you're looking over here or from the back, it looks upside down. But if you're looking at it from the front, it's never upside down. It's no more upside down than that nine hundred of yours. Yeah. yeah. Right. And huh. so it's just. Uh, but to, it, it caused a huge. You know, a huge thing. People Everyone's hate you now. I mean, they hated me. They hated me before. They hated me before. <laughs> Rooftop texted me. He was like, "You're you're welcome for the engagement." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was literally like, "I don't even know what you're talking about right now." Because you were in I'll Japan. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> like I I made that comment, and then all of a sudden I looked at my phone like you know five hours later, and I was like, "Oh my god." Really? Yeah. I was like 50, yeah. 50 things. I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah. Old man, you don't know. You what don't the know. Fuck you need glasses. Yeah. Leave Ryan alone. <laughs> yeah. And I and like I had, I was I was also chatting with Ryan. He was like, yeah, I, I've been trying this. I'm trying to get more upside down, but I see what you're saying. And it wasn't a, I mean, you know, it wasn't dissing him. Yeah, absolutely I just not. was like, because I, I am a little bit of a stickler for like tricks just changing. 
Yeah. You know, like people are like, oh, here's a flare. You're like, or people do a flare out of a curved wall, right? And you're like, I mean, it was just a 360. Yeah, it's just you know, because if you, three, I yeah. always looked at it. If it was over a spine, you're in the same position. So if you don't, you know what I mean. So you see these dipped sort of flares. Be like, if that was over a spine, it would just be a dip 360 over a spine. Yeah, yeah. Tricks of tricks evolve and names and, and uh, I've used a big word nomenclature. 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 It's yeah. changed. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So. Sorry, the scientist is here. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it just it, shit evolves. It's crazy. Is it evolve so, or just people? I also think it gets well, a little the tricks confusing. evolve and the, and the words stay the same. So then the, that's where it becomes a problem. I, I, think. I just know, feel like people don't fake, know what they're looking at uh, anymore. Fake, what's a fakey wall ride? It's it's <laughs> named incorrectly. That's right there. Because you're not going backwards into a wall ride. No, if, you you do a fake, if, you, if you do a fakey bar, like you're in a wall ride of fakey, you mean? A wall ride to fakey. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's different. Yeah, it's wrong. It's different. Yeah, but if but if I'm <laughs> but like my biggest one is my biggest one is the uh is the downside tail whip three sixty. Because yeah. you're not three sixteen or tail tail whipping. <laughs> I don't get it. Neither <laughs> one of those things are happening. Either either what was it like a monkey spin or something like that? Isn't I don't know which is oh, uh, the iron, iron monkey. Iron monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, back to Volker. <laughs> God damn it. Um, so I, I invented a trick once. What do you brag about? It, it's called a look down. You invented well, actually. The, you invented a look down. It was called yeah. a look down. Yeah, not, not a t- turn down. I mean a turn down. Turn down. But it's called a turn down now. But you called it a look down. No, sorry, a look down because they had the look back, the goofy footers, yeah. Yeah. and we had the yeah. look down. And the reason I inv- or how I invented it was, I was thinking in my head, I'm going to go up this quarter pipe, and in the air, I'm going to start I'm gonna coming down. down backwards. Oh, so at the last second, I'm going to 180. Like a late, but as soon like as I got turn. to the peak, it was like ah, and I twisted, <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, that was kind of cool. And then it just, I was folding it behind my legs, so I wasn't doing it correctly, but I was doing it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, somehow somebody else got word. Well, to so clear it up now, so look downs or turn downs, whatever, it used to be very different. So like when back when like Dave or whatever, he would do it. If you aired to the left, you would look back this way, mm-hmm. and you would. Turn down this way. You would do the actual opposite turn. Yeah. Same way air. Now people don't do that. If people are going to do it, you never see lookbacks anymore. I call them turnbacks because they do their opposite air. Mm-hmm. It's a yeah, look down yeah, yeah, yeah. with an opposite air. And so I don't. I think it's too, a totally different trick. But you the used feet to are to, in the different position. Yeah. You you you, you same way, same direction air, and you would actually yeah, have to yeah. turn the bike the opposite way. Yeah. Now people don't do that, and it's because Bestwick. Bestwick started doing them on vert. They're like, oh my god, he did a switch look back. Um, no. er, in the early late 90, 90s and then it became a thing. Huh. Well, to me, to me, the 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 look back into your front foot is insane. It just doesn't seem like it, it, it hurts possibly. my shin all yeah, the time. It that just, top you, two, but that's what a look those, back was. Yeah, you see those photos and you're like, oh my god, how are they even doing that? So we see like Dino's yeah. his foot would come off. Yeah, right? on purpose. On purpose. I I toured with him and I'd watch him get tangled up and just fall out of the sky yeah. in that position. Yeah, really. he, he had a coaster. He break would get too, stuck. To, to yeah, coaster break. He stood kind of on. Support his foot on. Yeah, <laughs> coaster yeah. break. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, Gnarly. Okay. A lot of people yeah. rode coaster. A lot of people rode coasters. I did for Todd Anderson. early on because I went from flatland into street riding. You know, and I was riding coaster and then right away went into free will. So this is my dumb question. You had a you had a handbrake too, or no? Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Eddie Rowan rode coast, coaster the whole time. Well, that's how he could do all those half cabs. Okay, and, yeah. and then because he Eddie's the first one you saw do full cabs. So just free coast, a uh, free coaster just didn't exist. I think it's Correct. a half Eddie. No, yeah, half what's Eddie, half yeah. Eddie? Yeah, yeah, all right, half Eddie. <laughs> what do we? What if it's really called? What a gay twist? That's what he called it on Rams, right? Huh? A gay twist. You can't even remember. say that anymore. Yeah. Though, right? Yeah. yeah. Do they still do them? They I call mean, them like LGBT. It's a yeah. Twist? Yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alphabet Army twist. Um, but yeah, that's what it was called. Gay twist. <laughs> I'm old. <Jeez. laughs> um, it threw me for the rails there. Uh, off the rails. Um, GT shows. Wildest story. Oh God, dude. Come on. I remember something with rooftops at a hotel. I don't know if that not this rooftop. But well, I, rooftop. I just told a story the other night. I was down in Mexico with, uh, Dave Nori and, uh, we had some tequila one night and, uh, we are fifth floor up or whatever at this hotel that had like a little pond down there, you know, it was about two foot deep or whatever. And there was a ledge that went from one balcony to another that was just extra bricks sticking out mm-hmm. that were smaller than our foot feet. So 
we got a helmet on and we both went side by side with our backs against the wall, five stories up to get over to this other balcony with our toes hanging off. It was like the stupidest thing. You're in Mexico with these bricks that are all shady. <laughs> Could have broken any time. Could have fell five stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, but just stuff like that. Just stupid things. Nah, I, I want to hear this story. I, 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 what Which story? One? Which one? Thank you, thank you, Pete. That's why he's here. <laughs> yeah. I, because yeah. I don't ever remember under pressure. And when, you, when you thought you were a badass and the cop grabbed you by the neck and picked oh, you up, in, God. I want to hear that story. All right, so we're in Missouri. <laughs> we're at a, uh, the Missouri State you, Fair. You never fuck around in Missouri, but go ahead. The, the Missouri State <laughs> Fair, and uh, me and Blyther had a couple of forties a piece. So we were playing tackle football in the parking lot at the hotel and decided <laughs> it was time <laughs> to go to the fair. <laughs> we were at the fair and this girl was sitting on a uh, ball that she had won or whatever. And I pretended to kick it out, you know, and I kind of bumped it or whatever. And the other guys were pissed that I did it. So they came after me and uh, I was like, dude, I was just playing around, whatever. And Blyther comes over and he starts kicking this dude and stuff. And, and the dude was pissed. Like, yeah. So we got broken up a little while later. Blyther and I are side by side walking through the, the fun zone or whatever. And all of a sudden, this guy comes flying across out of nowhere and clocks Blyther in the eye. Just knocks him down. I turned around and I start squaring off with the dude and we're walking in circles. And I knew that Brian already had sucker kicked him a bunch of times when he was being <laughs> held. you know. And I felt bad, but I, it's my buddy that just got hit. So I'm about to go. And so you're basically saying, like, my buddy kind of deserved that, but. Yeah, yeah. And, and all of a sudden. <laughs> he's, he's still my buddy. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I should have. I should have just fight. not thought and beat the shit out of the guy. But whatever. I fucked up. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So. Uh, after that, we're, we're broken up. Me and that dude walking in circles. Blyther gets up. Cops are coming. We're starting to walk again. Somebody grabbed me by my shoulder. And I was like, what the fuck? I got away again. All of a sudden, I look back, and it's a six-foot-six cop just, like, <laughs> tackling me to the ground, dude. And I'm pissed. I'm like, I didn't know who the fuck you were. I didn't do anything. And I got my peace sign out to the crowd. That's all gathered around. <laughs> so he's all pissed off, yeah. dude. He is pissed. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't let him get my arm the whole deal. He is so angry at this point, you know. And this is back when you could beat the shit out of me. And uh, What year is this? Uh, what Era. Is well, 92 or okay. something. Yeah. Somewhere in there. So the mullet was strong. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I had a gold chain bracelet, you know. Like, I don't know what was the going on at that time. So, so I'm walked. All right. I get to the office with this cop and he gets me out of the car. Nobody around. He picked me up by my long mullet, <laughs> literally picked me up by my mullet to where I got inside of this. <laughs> I, we're I doing thinking, shows. Things that have never been be said before on the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> picked me up by my mullet. <laughs> mullet. <laughs> so, so we oh get to God. the inside and I am irate at the state fair office where we're doing shows like, anti-alcohol, car accident, just say just no say stuff. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm drunk and I'm going, citizens arrest, <laughs> citizens arrest. <laughs> My hair's falling out. He threw me in jail. They took me downtown. I stayed the night. They didn't press charges, but they let me out. 10 minutes before showtime. So I left my cell and was doing shows 15 minutes later. Amazing. <laughs> hair was everywhere, dude. He pulled so much hair out. And that is the dedication to BMX. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then I did three shows, hung over, oh, yeah. beat up. That might have happened a yeah. few times. I, I was kind of legendary <laughs> for it. I'd throw up. <laughs> yeah. I was known to do a show, start a show, and then go behind the trailer, throw up, and then go be able to go back out and do the show. The thing I love most about Dave is like we'll be like hanging out, there's a like group of us or whatever, and we'll just be talking all of a sudden they'll just <laughs> throw up and then just like keep going. Like, what, the, what the fuck was that, Dave? <laughs> He'll just throw up right there in the middle. It's like you couldn't even just turn around. <laughs> but it's the best times always hanging with you. Um, well, luckily, I'm not an alcoholic, by the way. Like, <laughs> somehow, like yeah, I, I don't like, have an addictive personality, luckily, you know, but able to have a good time. Yeah, a, you was, always seem like you're having a good time. I, seriously. Like, even I have been so blessed. It's amazing, dude. Like, I, I went through some obviously gnarly shit. I mean, I lost my first wife to opiates and she passed away yeah. i lost my fucking daughter yeah. to a high-speed crash recently and it just you know but 
it happened and you can't do anything about it and life goes on. You just got to make people smile, I think. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's the support and the friends that you have around because you're such a good guy and you have so many good friends that love you so much. Uh-huh. I think that's what it is. But yeah. Anyway, I yeah. thought I'd throw that in there. No. We're well old and we tear yeah. up these yeah. days yeah. and yeah. shit. Yeah, uh, I know. I think, uh, I, you know, condolences, Thank obviously. You. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I, shows. I, I travel. Shows. I, yeah. travel. Yeah, I, travel. <laughs> I feel. I feel like when you say you can't remember stuff, I feel like it. Part of it is that's a byproduct of like <laughs> living a lot of life. Too, there, you that's know? what it is. It's been it so many good times yeah. that uh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember things super clear. But yeah. other things, it's like, man, you had such a good time. I'm like. Ugh. I was, I was glad to hear it. You yeah. know, that's why Pete's here. <laughs> yeah, on the way down, I was on the phone with uh, Castillo, Brian Castillo. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a podcast with uh, with Dave and, and Pete. He's like, oh, with both of them? I'm like, well, I think Pete's there to help Dave remember. <laughs> yep. And he goes, he I goes, want to pray. Well, how too. old is Dave? He, he's like, what do you mean you can't remember? I'm like, dude, think about how many, sh- how could you remember what was what? So many shows. Yeah. Like, I can't remember. And then it's a decade before I started. Yeah. It, I yeah, can't, yeah. You know what I mean? I can't remember. It's a decade before that. Yeah, I, it must. You must not even remember full summers of show, shows. Full summers. Yeah. You're just like, I know I did shows that summer. Well, it's like, it's like, it's on repeat. It's on repeat in so many different ways. You're doing that state fair for how many months? Uh, that would be a 30 day run. Or 30 whatever. day, yeah. So an entire month that is Groundhog Day. Groundhog yeah, day, yeah. But it has yeah. these little sprinkles of oh, like God. different God. things of, yeah. that of getting your yeah. mullet ripped off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Exactly. So there's. Did, a, did you have a problem or did you have any, when you went from when it went from quarter pipes shows and contests to half pipes, did you, was that a, was that a hard transition for you? That's a good question. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, great question. And, and if you've ever seen me ride a half pipe, it's because I, I look like crap because I, I never liked half pipes. Why? Because it's back and forth doing the same crap over and over again. And you're getting technical about how you land and all that crap. And I was not about that. And that's why I always sucked on half pipes. Like, just boring to me like even, I, that, that's why I think dave is like a show guy and he could ride the show's ramps obviously really well and he could ride flatland well i think he's truly a street rider and always has been mm-hmm. i feel like i think all of us were that come from that era you know i mean you're one of the few people who was a professional at everything right because not a lot of guys like i say nyquist was one yeah. where you're like yeah. uh except flatland but you were like a, at, at the at the time you probably pro level flatlander Pro level street rider at some point. Pro level dirt jumper. Pro level vert rider. Pro level park rider. So, and there's not a lot of guys that do that. You, Dennis, Miron. Yeah, not it, a lot of guys. It, it wasn't categorized at all. It was like, how, how could you uh, ride a bike differently? You know yeah. what I mean? And that's kind of how it all just folded in. When when uh, you continue to do shows until you said eight years ago. So how, what what age were you when you were like, I can't. Uh, I blew my knee out. So I'm in my backyard barbecuing chicken and Cole and his buddies, you know, they're what, 12 and 13 at the time or whatever. They're all out riding the ramps in the front yard. And I was like, ah, oh, slip on my shoes real quick to go hit the ramps. And I hit one, I hit the quarter pipe, turn around, hit the other one, did a front wheel grab and I missed a grip, missed a grip. Bike went one way, my knee went straight into the asphalt, oh, and it just blew over. my patella, my kneecap, into over a, like sixty pieces or something. I go to the doctor. He goes, "Boy, you really detonated it." <laughs> oh, doctor, he said, yeah, "Detonated." Detonate, yeah. <laughs> and so that was it. It was just game. So over. that was the three surgeries and lost mobility. Or uh, yeah, I'm at ninety degrees or whatever. So if I went to hook up on a ramp or whatever, I can't suck the bike back in. Yeah. So it makes it real dangerous. Do you ride much at all anymore? No, no. What? Uh, but how old were you then? Uh, like, I, I, forty four or something like that. Okay. I felt like Shit, you were that's, that's younger uh, than I am now. <laughs> no, I was like ten years ago, right? When you did that, maybe. Yeah. 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 Somewhere around. It's there. it's hard because you always seem. How old are you? Old now? Sorry. Fifty six. Fifty six. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah Fifty. Probably forty eight. Yeah. Something. So. I felt like there was something of you just doing like a, you know, how old were you when you did the the no handed flip fakie? Uh. Th- Mid nineties, somewhere in, your, in there. No, right? was it that? Was it that? Okay, it? maybe I'm just. Yeah, uh, late nineties, maybe. Okay. Yeah, late nineties. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But All right. I, I was on GT until 2002. Okay. What ended that? Uh, just uh, Woody. Woody. Decided That's all you say. Go Woody. a different. Just direction. say Woody. 
I mean, I mean for the people on the outside because I don't, I don't know what that just Woody, you know, yeah. like, yeah. like what is that? Um, he started his own show company, and GT was going down the toilet at the time, you know, because they were bought out, and they were after Richard Long died, you yeah. know, the company just kind of got bought out by big companies and was being parted out, I guess. I, mm-hmm. you know, got rid of all the old stock and all that kind of crap. And, I mean, Woody is. Uh, you know, I was what GT offered me to ride for him right around '94 for the, the Marina Valley contest, and I was going to ride the Fueler mm-hmm. when the Fueler came out. And his thing was, you can, uh, you can, and I kind of knew him a little bit because of George Smoot, because right, so yeah. Um, and so he'd be like, "Oh, well, you can be on the team, and if you if you get to contest, you can sleep on the floor at the at the hotels, and we'll give you." It was just a, the worst deal ever, Absolutely. and which I ended up riding for Hoffman at the end of that contest. So, but Woody to me, I just seemed like he always he always had, obviously had his moment in the sport, but when it came time to shows, burnt a lot of guys out. Sport, you know, oh, burnt, I mean, like 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 Mom's Parker, word like a for, Parker. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, that's your feelings. My yeah, my feelings, may be yeah. accurate, but. But yeah, I just it. felt like um, you know, and nothing. The, the not, guy did a lot of good. He for did me. a lot of good but for he a lot also of people. Made things. He was a businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you worked for him. Absolutely. That was, and it. I worked my ass off. Yeah, yeah. that was. A, I, I actually it kind of went down to where I was going. I want to be a part of this new company, and he was like, "Well, what can you bring to the table?" You know, and I was like, "Well, I, I'm having a hard time." building this company that I'm not going to have anything to do with. You know what I mean? Totally. And my name was kind of big in the show industry. So even after I left, like people are going, yeah, I I had people bidding on this show and there were five different companies saying, oh, I got this guy. (laughs) I got this guy. And it was, they were talking about me because I was writing for everyone at that point. But So one one of the biggest things that I don't think – modern day street riders have any clue that even exist is the Volker video. Is it Lord called Lord? Was it called Lord? Lord. Well, before we get into that, how did you get that nickname? I was all right. I had, just GT riders all had nicknames, right? The yeah. chairman and king of the skate parks and all that. Did and they uh, give it to you? Yeah. So Who, Magoo. So it's straight. Magoo. Oh, Magoo. Magoo. All right. Magoo, Magoo was yeah. like, okay, we got to think of a name for this guy. And he, I was winning in the street contest. So he thought of Lord Volker, Lord of the Streets. Oh, that's right. a good dude. We didn't call him that. Not yeah. God. Don't lie. Not the God Lord. No, we called him the Albano Jumping God. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's, he's called the Albino Jumping God. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> I do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought it was better. Please, yeah, put, but, please, but, please but, put that on the podcast. Podcast podcast with the albino jumping lord. Yeah, yeah but that could have been fuzzy. Dave, too. the albino jumping lord. Boy. Yeah, it could have been fuzzy. Could have been fuzzy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so it was Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, before, I mean, I guess Lord Volker. I feel like we should talk about Broken Banks. Street Jam too. The, yeah. I feel like that's like oh, a cool. Yeah. I mean, like as far as street event, how do you go from, you know, what? I feel like Santee Street event, and then there's other street events, right? But Brooklyn uh, Banks, yeah. But in the meantime, like, you're yeah. doing nine hundreds on quarter pipes. You know what I mean? Or, or on half pipes. What's right? that? But in the meantime, oh yeah, you're doing nine hundreds. Yeah, which is that was like ninety or something. Like yeah, that. but so you know what I mean? right, right, right around, around the same, same time. time. Yeah. And then I your story about the Brooklyn Banks. It, wait, who who throws this event? This is another Wilkerson. Oh, Wilkerson. This yeah. is yeah. part of the series. Yeah. yeah. So how many is, how many were in the series in a, in a year? Like four, four, I think. Well, one. they had two in New York. They had the other one that was on like 27th Ave. Did you go to that one? Where no. Wilkerson literally blocked off the street and had the contest. In the, it was like in front of a bike shop on 27th <laughs> Ave. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is like, is this Brian? is on Snake Bite. This is 11 minutes. Who's it? Before we, let's give credit where it's due. Footage. Hans Volker, 450 drop in. Uh, what an atmosphere that was, man. Yeah. God, what a. I mean, people still to this day say that was the best day of my life. Like, they really? were, yeah, yeah, they were like, this was the best goddamn thing ever. So let's see if we. Just the atmosphere yeah, was super to... good. So when who sends you out of this? Is this a GT like or Dino would send you out to yeah. to this stuff? Okay, yeah. And when they send him out, was it like full on? Like here's a flight, here's a hotel. Yeah, absolutely. Everything's yeah. covered. Yeah, yeah. So I I didn't have to do anything, right? I just Showed make up. people smile, and that was it. Yeah. 
what and how this is did it have a 89 the other one was 87 right oh um might have been 88 88 was so 88, yeah. 88, 88 was, was 88, first 88, one yeah. okay a year later like to me know. 88 through 95 is the most unique time in bmx a lot because of stuff happened at that well time. it's because it right. went from jerseys 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 to this like real time where everything was well sort of, it went from like a gt or a haro jersey to a Slim Jim jersey. Yeah, exactly. In, 90, in 95. <laughs> it still had jerseys. In 95. Yeah, you know? But yeah. in this era, it was like, it was just, there wasn't anything. Yeah. It wasn't anything. You're right. It was just punk. It I mean, was street. I, it was street. Yeah. You know, there's leather jackets and dreads. Yeah, and, I mean, yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm not at this contest, I had no way to get there. I had no money. Uh, That's w- there wasn't anything in the sport at this time, I yeah. believe, as far as financial backing like the the from the ashes like literally yeah, the, yeah. the ride on yeah and that's why yeah wilkerson plays a big role Is that joe johnson joe yeah. johnson and he does the uh, very first fufunu on that pole right there yeah wilkerson was keeping the sport alive with this stuff yeah absolutely yeah <clears throat> how many people are there yeah it was seriously bitching, dude. Did he just feeble that? It's like a, it's like a no, it's a bass slide. Oh, oh that was, it was a feeble. Dang, yeah, if you God. think about it, you know, a lot of it, it could have died off at that moment yeah. with BMX, you know, if this wasn't. Yo, we owe a lot to Hoffman and Will. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%, mm-hmm. man. Like, they're probably the biggest ones that kept, yeah. the, kept the sport going when, when there was no money. Yeah. Know? I don't think they were making any money off any of this stuff. No, probably no, not. No. No, 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 no Kevin Martin, Lucky by Lucky. the way, deserves uh, yeah, a lot Martin of credit too. because he he did all this basically. And he then he, he was a, he's announcing driving this, right? it, driving the he's, equipment. He's, you know, he did yeah, everything, like everything yeah. behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Kmart. Yeah. Well, there we are. Lavender shorts, baby. Kevin Martin is is famously known for jumping straight to his knees when Hoffman lands the first nine. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I do launching I do, to his knees. Yeah. Insane, yeah. forgetting his own self, uh, well being. He, he got more injured on that than. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you when you get this call oh. for this, is this like, is this feel like a huge event, or you're like, oh, we're just going to some little weird street thing? Uh, At it, this point, is it like, oh, this is a big deal to go to? It was kind of a big deal, yeah, because, I mean, your your job depended on it, right? Like, you had to get some sort of uh, result. Shoot, shoot through, see if we can find some more. Yeah. Get to the 450. I think you didn't know what to expect at one of these contests yeah. either. You know, yeah. you're going to one of these, like, what kind yeah, of shady stuff Yeah, what's Wilkerson got now? now. <laughs> <laughs> you literally had some ramps with uh, particle board landings. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, it was so bad. Do it. Whoa. Is that a candy bar? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. Oh, that's Miron. Oh, it is Miron. The yeah. Canadian oh, beast. Oh, my God. My favorite rider to watch, by the way. Yeah. Definitely one oh, of my yeah, favorites. Him. Can... Yeah, because this would have been a close contest for him from Thunder Bay. <laughs> is that... <laughs> <laughs> well played, rooftop. Well played. You know your stuff. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Jay was so good. Oh, so good. Yeah. I'm like, vert, ridiculously good. Nose wheelies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, just at oh. high speed. Yeah. Loved watching that guy ride. Oh, and for Vanderbilt. Well rounded. Yeah. Oh, that was, that yeah, was like, awesome. That was disgusting. That was not disgusting. <laughs> Is that tranny to tranny too? It, it, it looks like it looks flat like it, right? a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most of that's why. It's <laughs> Bartlett. Oh, Bartlett. With a and Bartlett, Bartlett showed up at all of them. It seemed he, like he was getting a lot of coverage at yeah. that time, right? Yeah. Who's this guy? He has like a, looks like a news reporter. Was this contest gnarly? Like, was it dangerous? Who was that? What was? No, well, literally, you just watched a vert rider, and then you saw a dirt jumper, jumper. and then you saw a flatland guy. Yeah, who was here. that? All riding street. Yeah, yeah, all riding street. Yeah, I can't remember the guy's name, but he, I know he was a flatland guy. I remember? Look at all those two hip shirts, man. Uh, where's this four fifty at? Yeah, here. Sorry. I'm I mean, people talk about up in the moment. People here. talk about this four fifty. There's like uh, lavender shorts, like Just the way, the like the same way when Vallely ollied the fence. 
basically ollied over the fence oh, off yeah, the bank. Yeah. And it's, I think it's like the equivalent of that for bike riding. But that was a huge deal. So it must have been at the beginning of that run. Oh, they didn't. Uh, yeah, it was I just a so you. you it, got, said, it says it's in here. So you got first at this contest, right, dude? Yeah. And I, I was Craig undefeated at two hit meet the street contest. You were. <laughs> 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 But Campbell got second, right? That's the number one part. <laughs> Didn't That's Craig... the way it works. <laughs> yeah. What's that? You won the Santee one? You guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Craig got second. And, and yeah. Craig got second, and then yeah. Craig got second here also, right? Did he? I don't, yeah. I believe so. What was, the, what was first place? Is that McCoy? I, I just yeah. knew if you weren't first, you were last. <laughs> yeah, man. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, really. was, what was the first place prize? Oh, something huge, bucks like something? maybe two twenty or something like two hundred twenty. That, that much? <laughs> maybe uh, I'm surprised huge. it was that, oh, much. that food No, there that. probably wasn't yeah. even that much. Because well, I remember at the Hoffman <laughs> contest in the early '90s, it was four hundred bucks for first place, and he still oh. wrecked. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, uh, I what think is, uh, is that Wilkerson. Think how gnarly that is, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, here, Look at that foot plant tail whip. Yeah, that was the first time I showed the public plant, that. That was the first time whip. it was ever shown. You yeah, know the tail whip? Yeah, I, I no kept way. it a secret until this Dude, contest. I mean, you do stuff that people, I think people don't give you credit for, or people don't realize, like in Ride On, you have some stuff that's wild, like 360 Thank up you. curb, 360 Thank down you. curb, yeah. backwards hop over that over those islands, all that yeah. stuff that people don't, mm. people don't look at. Fucking tail whip nose pick on a car hood. Yeah. A bunny hop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a ton of stuff in that right on. video Thank that people. Right on. I didn't mean yeah. to say yeah. right. On. People don't realize <laughs> you're just like a couple clips you and you're like, what just happened? And yeah. I don't think people notice uh, them because they aren't ready to notice. Here it them. is, right here. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Are we getting there? Yeah. We're just, Didn't yeah, Campbell just, just do a 540 wall ride again? Or a did 10? he? Did I he? I saw that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was on a skinny huh? ramp. And that's Kevin Martin. Yeah, it is. And All right, here we go. How many so, tries? So did it take? I was supposed to start, uh, first try. I pulled it, and then I missed it the next two. And it. Uh, so it doesn't have you pulling it in this video. I think well, maybe, they're, maybe, they're going to show the safe. crashes first. Yeah. Yeah. Builds so that was the very it. first one. That just blew everyone's mind because it, it wasn't attempted or nothing. It just came out of nowhere. And it came out of nowhere for me. I was up there and somebody just started exactly how I was going to start. Oh, you just so dropped in? Like, Screw it. I'm going to. Yeah, I was going to just jump in or something like that. But somebody went before me. So now I was like, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> ah, I know that. I'll try to three off of it. Well, I remember Campbell, Craig Campbell coming back and I'm like, oh, that was a contest. He's like, oh, I was good. I was riding good and all this stuff. And he goes, all, he goes and then Dave comes up. Then Volker showed up. Yeah. And he goes, is, he goes, he fought, you know, has English accent, fucking 360 into the bank. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, that's Dave. Yeah, right. it was sketchy though because I thought my front wheel would hit the wall. I had no yeah. idea if it was going to work. But yeah. I had a full face on. Look at, that, <laughs> look at that mullet coming out of the back. I know. Of yeah. Look at that thing. He wasn't taking very good care of it back then. <laughs> mullet? Yeah. Yeah, your hair always looks like it's been bleached a hundred times. I know. It just they looks like it's the most dead hair ever. Up and stuff. <laughs> All right, so I want to jump forward to Lord Volker. Yeah, let's do Lord Volker. Because Lord I don't think people... I, even I, I mean, I remember yeah, when... I, uh, wanna, you want to wait? Um, we'll keep going, and then if okay. you, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, P, All right. P so concludes the pee break. All right, so there's a video that came out. When when did this come out? What two thousand? Two thousand. Lord Volker. Yeah. And I remember when it came out, and I watched it, and I was like, oh damn. But I at that point in my life, I was too busy um, trying to convince everybody how rad I was. You know what I mean? <laughs> to like, like she were killing no, but to understand and to to really. And I was also at a point where I was like, I wasn't, I didn't care what I was doing. I was so focused on what I was doing, right? But I watched it about a year ago. And I would say you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who could do most set stuff now. There's some stuff really? in this video. Yeah, dude, it's so gnarly. You it just, is a gnarly video. There's some yeah. stuff in there that's so gnarly. And I don't understand how, like, that. I don't no, understand just... that it didn't get more. Uh, when people say, like, what's the best video ever made or what's the best video ever I don't understand why this isn't on the list more. It's a video that flew under the radar, I think, a little bit. And it might have been because it was GT. And at that time, GT, no one cared too much about what GT was doing. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was overshadowed by Hicks in action. But there's like, <laughs> but there's like huge 540s. There's Matt, there's, there's all these. So good. Dude, you do, a manual, you do a manual down a ditch at going like 40 miles an hour. 
It's insane. Like this. Right here. Look at this. But it goes on forever. And I, I, I took the launch and the landing to, to places, to places which yeah. hadn't been done before. Yeah. You, do, you are in that train. And yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Where were those jumps at? Was that, a bit, was that, uh, house? that was Ramona. Sibley's house. Oh, Sibley's no, house. that was Sibley's house. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't it's all know good. Which one? Yeah. But there's so much stuff in this video that is so gnarly. Cool. Oh. Blyther, I mean, my God. Blyther. I mean, I I would say from my perspective that I mean, obviously, <laughs> I was in San Diego. A Volker was Volker to me. Yeah. I I. I I loved this video. I thought it was super cool feature on somebody, and that I wish, so cool. I wish there was an avenue for stuff like this to still exist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so somebody could, uh, somebody could make a film like this and make money on it, so they'd be motivated to do it. You I know? think about, I think when I watch this video, I think about what writer could do all this stuff now, and I, it, you, you, you'd be hard. Whoa. <laughs> That wasn't you. that wasn't you though. <laughs> you'd be hard pressed that, to find a writer that could do all these things now. Like even that. Yeah. Oh, here's this stuff. What, yeah. It was from right on. That was wild. I was so proud of that street stuff too. Was that a, it was all creative, death? you know? Like, yeah. It was a wide open campus. But like, there's stuff here. Like, you'd be hard pressed to find people who could <laughs> do that. a fake wall ride eight feet out of a ramp. What year, year was this and again? You, and then you manual the rail. Two thousand. Yeah. Two thousand. Yeah. 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 I, I, I never understood why this video, why when people say some of the best street riding ever, this isn't included. Because it's so good. Right 23 yeah. years ago. 23 yeah. years ago. But it's, but, it's, but you know what's the reason why it's good? It's like, it's fast and loose before fast and loose. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it goes back to what he said is that he didn't want to put together a run. He wanted to make the, he wanted that one highlight reel essentially i yeah, wanted to go yeah. really high on that when you're watching the x games thing you're not like yeah this is great i got second you're like man i really wanted to go higher on that hit. Yeah, like that's yeah, what yeah. you say like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so i mean it's i don't know you, we, we, uh, a common theme on this uh podcast is that we talk about like highlight reels like if you know there's people like hoder and like uh zach gerber or somebody we talked about who they have this like you know, this two minute highlight reel of all this gnarly shit that they've done and just how insane it would be if you put it together. And yeah. it's like Volkers would be 20 minutes. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you could fill it with a, and all the shit that it's a lot of years <laughs> and all the, and all the shit that nobody even could film, you know, that yeah. happened over the years that you Dude. did just for the sake. I of try to tell it. my son all yeah. the time, you know, we both ride the sand dunes on motorcycles and I'm like, dude, I've done some gnarly stuff out there, yeah. you know. Yeah. No hander on a three wheeler jumping down what's called China Wall, which is if you crash, you're you're done for yeah. a long time. Anyways, but yeah, there's no footage. I did it for three guys that are drinking beer on top of the dune. You know. <laughs> <laughs> is is there anything? Is there any few things that you're most proud of through your career that you're like I did this? Uh, that that I was able to uh, travel in and introduce a sport to people that are like i have nothing to ride and here i am tearing up curbs in their yeah. town and stuff yeah. and we're having fun together and it just kind of opens up people's eyes what about trick wise like was there anything oh, that you yeah. did stunt wise, stunt -wise yeah. that you did you were like oh that was something that was because there's things you know where i think about i'm like okay that was may not have been hard for someone else but for me it was a big accomplishment well you know? i i think the big accomplishment was creating different ways of riding the bike right and that street stuff you're talking about in my video i am so proud of it was the ride on video is mm -hmm. the street stuff yeah. and uh I, i'm so proud of that and i'm super stoked you're mentioning it was all the creativity i was able to do like you said the bunny hop up a curb 360 on the island 360 off the you nose bonk I mean? to manual yeah, yeah. nose bonk yeah. to manual yeah stuff like that even you know? just that like, full like you do full you just do a full big hop backwards hop over yeah. over an entire island and well, I think I, yeah, that's I don't stuff know that people did. That, you, no, but, you did. You did. Yeah. I yeah. You did. You did. You did. Um, oh, I know. I know. Nice. I know. Um, but I, I, I feel like it's the stuff that if someone did it in a part now, you would just be like, oh, sick. It, it's very common now. You know right? what I mean? And it, yeah. But it's also like it's up to par, too. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't be like someone didn't have to add a barsman now. Oh, that's right? what you're talking. That was the, that was your ass. Oh yeah. I have that. Uh, the the ditch that you were talking about. That wasn't. Let me see. Ditch. Let me see the ditch. Yeah, it comes up here shortly. I mean, oh, I think. Oh my god, that <laughs> ass is so amazing. So bad. They put makeup on my lip that had stitches on it and put Dude, a where fake. Where did it go? Oh, I gave a, I gave some of these photos. I gave a lot of these photos to 
wherever. Where, where all these they? photos. Yeah, this is so. This is where I grew up. This is in PB. Like mm-hmm. a lot, all that street stuff, Mission Bay stuff, and the and the PB stuff, um, was was crazy to me when I when I oh, saw it. This photo. Oh yeah, man, that's a cool photo. What was that ditch? No, know. that's not the ditch I'm talking about. Yeah, it's in, it's in here. Sorry, this is the. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's Home Ave. Yeah. Yeah, I, this this one I sent all these to Glenn. I think all these photos. To. Uh, or whoever did this. Film. Yeah, not to Glenn. Oh, whoever made oh, it. Fuck, why am I blanking? I feel bad. Pro, Chris Rye. Oh, Chris Rye. That's Chris Rye. Oh, there, that, see, that's that no-hander that photo I was talking about. Yeah. This that ditch. ditch. This, this, where's that ditch? ditch? I have no idea where that ditch Dude, is. Dude, it looks so dope. Look at that tire slide. Is that tire slide? <laughs> yeah. Look yeah, this is the tan. I, I don't tan, by the way. Look at that. <laughs> that's just skin cancer happening. You look young there. <laughs> but like all this stuff? Yeah. I think, I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> cool hat, bro. I mean, I think that, I mean, this is what that little highlight reel, you know, like that is what it, it encompasses everything from curb riding and pedaling down the street and kind of the, you know, the stuff that you would do, you guys would do on any given day. And then you have 900s on a lake yeah, and stuff like that. And like, it, it's like, that is, that is the impact and, and, and inventing yeah i guess that was a, the cool thing that we got to see with dave is like he'd be out doing these demos and and uh <clears throat> contests and everything and you see him all suited up in his dino gear and stuff but when he came road with us and we'd go to mission trails he was, it was like a different side of dave and yeah. we got to see you know like a lot of awesome stuff back then in the, that time at mission trails i think with dave it was just like we built all these jumps thinking they're going to be badass for us, but actually they were nothing. For they were suited for Dave, yeah. you know, like, like the death, death jump. Yeah, death jump. you know, it's like yeah. to me, Mission Trails was an enigma because I'd, I'd always seen it in the videos, right? And we heard about the death jump, but then the other two, the doubles and the table, the double yeah. and tabletop, were like as long as where this would table. that footage be? It's in right yeah. on, right? It's in right on. It's yeah. also in so head first. There's okay. a section of head first in there. Yeah, there. yeah. Um, head, tr- head, fist. head, head first. Maybe yeah. there's a there's a yeah because it's a Jawbreaker song, I think. Not that I know. Forty-five minutes. Not that I listened to. You got a right. memory, dude. I don't. Um, but yeah, oh. there, there's a uh, with the death jump. <laughs> Jesus, dude. It's a different time. Um, yeah, there's yeah, some a, of it, yeah. but there's a whole section. Yeah, that's there. Mission yeah. Trails. Yeah. I love when I see farmers' parts and stuff. So no, cool. I know. Oof. Look at Matt. Uh, what um? It's coming. Yeah. When when the death jump was built, were many people jumping it? No. Who was jumping it? Just you, Dave. Uh, Who built it? We, like Vic, myself, Brad, we all would go down to Mission Trails and just after it rained, we'd go down there and build jumps. So that that double is like the length of this table. (laughs) It was a very big. But it was the style jump. That was the style one. Like when you see Matt trying to flip it, you're like, he literally had to clear four feet. (laughs) It's almost a spine. Dude, I had a hard time jumping that because it was so short. I was like, how do you guys do And your bike was 50 pounds. Yeah, 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 that too. (laughs) Was that you doing no, the four curve time? That was, I, thought, I thought, honestly, I recognized the helmet. Was I was fun. like, is that fun. the helmet? That's there was fun. no jumps like this in San Diego at that time. No. Look at that. That was awesome. Very fuzzy. Yeah, it's funny to think. Nitschke. Right? 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 Yeah. Is that who that was? Nitschke. I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's funny to think that that Mission Trails was like a hub for like Fuzzy, fuzzy Hall. And Matt Hoffman and like all these names would come to ride. Big Murphy. Yeah. Matt yeah. Jump the Mission Trails. Yeah. 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 Just a San Diego East County spot. Yeah. yeah. And what was this event? This was, was a, a contest. Uh, Matt Hoffman. Hoffman had. Yeah. yeah. It was a what contest? It was a Matt Hoffman contest. It was? Yeah. Not, it's not a, not a BS oh, wait contest. A no, no, no. It's oh, too hip. Oh, that's what you were going to It's been too hip. Oh, oh, yeah. That was horrible. Those, those, here, were, here's the horrible. those, those forks were SM pitchforks. So there was a big jump. All right, I thought you guys were. No, it was a big yeah. jump. It was a big tabletop. But it had a downhill. It, had that a, was just, yeah. Yeah, it was and scary. You see the land. Death when you crash. I mean, you watch when Dennis tries to three sixty it. Well, climber jacked himself up quite a bit on it. Did he? It looks yeah. so small compared to today's Jumps jumps, out. you know. But look at our bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Kmart bikes. Kmart bikes. Here goes. The Matt. Oh, Matt. dude. Oh. Uh. But back then, I remember watching this. I'm like, dude, he's so high. It looks massive. Literally, it's like flipping a spine. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, yeah, I mean, that's the difference is that it was a four foot lip that but no was one super vert, so it probably sucked. Nobody, like, yeah. <laughs> nobody yeah. flipped dirt before either, though, I don't think. No, that was the first time anybody flipped yeah. dirt. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Hoffman. For sure. And how long did um, how long did that Mission Trails era last? It was years. It dude. lasted quite a while. The thing about Mission Trails, it was just kind of our little secret spot for a long time. And then rumor got out about it and Wilkerson found out about it and had a contest there and let everybody know where Mission Trail was. Was that a bummer for you guys back it then? It was a real big bummer for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. We really hated Ron for doing that. No. Trash. And that was stuff. that before he was in San Diego? No, he was in San Diego then. I think he was in Lucadia. Oh, okay. Cause yeah. that so what people the, the that that ramp you always see. People don't realize it's right on the freeway. Yeah, it's absolutely. exit 43. Yeah, you pass. It's right before the Lucadia exit, mm-hmm. and it's right there. The house is still there. Yeah. You know what? I, you know what it is, right? Uh, I mean, I no, perfect. Oh, yeah. It's just a few houses up from no. the exit. It's just like I, mean, I know, but I don't. North know. When you're going south mm-hmm. and you almost to Lucadia exit, mm-hmm. uh, it's like in between La Costa and Lucadia exit on the on, on the, the west right. side. Going south, yeah. yeah. So on the west side, there's just like the drive. The road comes down, and there's just a road. There's a house right there. It's one house. One house. That's where it was right there. No. To yeah. think all that he stuff went down there. He had to put a green there. tarp up because the of the freeway. Ramp. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, blocked their view. Why was it called the Enchanted Ramp? That, ra- that tree, the tree, the oh, famous tree. <laughs> dead tree. Yeah, yeah. famous tree. Um, I mean, I I think of Mission Trails as the first time I ever met Perenni. Oh, no if kidding. that is, uh, you know. Oh, I yeah, I forgot like, you're from San Diego. Yeah, uh, me? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh yeah literally it was like he broke his forks or something that day and oh, then wow. he got on it, this is a weird call out but he literally rode dave young's bike that day and then i saw him like just do like a volker-esque just went high as hell and he just like tucked it and i was like what the fuck who is that and, he was and, we're, and we're the same age and i was like dude i've never even like really ridden dirt jumps before and i was like what the fuck is this yeah. who is this Fucking like monster, yeah, monster. I on know. A bike, First time know? I saw him was at Escondido Skate Park where they had the the wood, the, the metal, metal, ramp. metal yeah. slick, yeah. 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 so oh. slick. I mean, Perenni yeah. definitely uh, he has that, that place. Volker, um, yeah, tall attitudes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, I guess like Perenni is like your your son without being a son before you actually. What, had what it. do we call him? A protege, or protege. Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> how how what was that first time meeting Perenni? So I moved up to Ramona to try it out. You know, I rented a house up there for a year and. uh this little kid was just riding the dirt jumps, you know, the local target jumps, and he was killing it, you know. Mm-hmm. So him and I started to be friends. How and old I, was he compared to you? Oh, he was, what, six, 15? And you were Somewhere how old? around there. What, 29, okay, 30, so pedophile. somewhere ahead. up yeah. there. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So, like this is weird old guy. Yeah. Our yeah. son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, come on over. <laughs> Get in the van. No, but he, he just had this cool attitude and his riding was advancing so fast that I told GT, I was like, hey, man, I got this kid. And they said, OK, he's on. You've never came to us about anybody before, and this is the first time he's on. No way. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Sight unseen. Yeah. yeah. So all of a sudden, he's in high school, leaving high school to go do shows and travel the world, and he's got a fake ID. <laughs> he's 17, <laughs> no going way. into bars and stuff. Yeah. No way. Yeah. He, came, he became a small town hero. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. And he, I mean, he uh, obviously, um, Mike, Mike deserves his own podcast for sure. But like yeah. he, uh, you know, magazine covers, HBO documentary about him. That like, was rough on that him, was a, by that the was way, rough. because that was his first contest ever. Yeah. First time yeah. ever going to GT and there's HBO cameras following him yeah. everywhere. And oh, he's just no a way. young kid going, dude, what the f- yeah, What's it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of pressure for yeah, him. I think yeah, the so the contest yeah. just he lost his mind and yeah. didn't do good. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, um, a but start. I mean, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I meant that as like an alco- like a, as a thing that happened to him. But like, I mean, he no, was, absolutely, he was. You know, a, he fucking did it for a long time. An incredible bike rider. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. um, I agree. Is that a? I guess, and then you. So you have Perenni, and then obviously your son is the is the the Volker that maybe a lot of kids know these days, you know, it, it's funny because yeah. he, he literally wanted to be his own Volker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did well, the, not the want to be his, Dave Volker's son yeah. at all. And we, the still, joke is uh, you're Cole's dad. Yes. You yeah. know, like that's no, literally like when, with Cole's dad, <laughs> you know, and so. it, just his style and everything I'm super impressed with. And, uh, 
it, it's just funny how I wasn't at all helping him at all. Like I never got him connections or nothing because he didn't want it and he wanted to do it his way and uh, it worked out. Yeah. So. Is, how, it, is it, is there, a, does it seem a little surreal? Absolutely. Like I, how fortunate, I mean, there's other athletes that, that wanted or riders that wanted to have their kids doing what they did. But yeah. Somehow, but it, doesn't happen somehow it just worked out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just you think of like a handful of people in all sports and everything Yeah. where, you know, that happens. Very rare. Yeah. Is it weird to feel like he's doing the same thing you were doing 40 years ago? Like the same sort of first experiences. It's it's amazing. Yeah. He just went on a trip to San Francisco and he's telling me about it. And I'm like, God damn it. That's so bitching. He's doing exactly yeah. what I was doing. How old is he? Uh, 22. 22. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What a, so you said you didn't, you didn't help him get connections, but obviously like <clears throat> you uh, brought him into that lifestyle in a sense. He saw I, you. Like how does he... Brian, Brian Blyther was at my house one time. I just got to tell this. Um, and I had a little box jump for him when he was very young. So he's what, three and a half or something like that. And uh, I got a picture of him jumping over his booster seat that Brian took, like jumping over his booster seat. And he, so he's cool. like also riding that day with no shirt on. He does a no footer. <laughs> That's no way. Three and a half. Yeah. That is insane. I, I got him the, before he turned four. I think the coolest photo is like you and him backflipping. I think he's on a scooter. He is on a scooter. Yeah. yeah. He, he went through a scooter phase and I totally supported it. And he would be at like the old school he jam did. on a scooter and the, everybody's pissed, <laughs> dude. What are you doing, Dave? Why is he on that? And I'm like, who cares? Yeah. You know, he's having fun and he's known for it. He's like getting the skills. Watch. It'll transfer over. And it did. Yeah, you're so yeah. lucky. Very lucky. You could have been not. a scooter boy, <laughs> <laughs> a scooter man, six scooter six man. on a scooter. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, uh, my but, son, my wife brought home a scooter one day for my son. I'm like, are you serious? What are you doing? <laughs> and then I had to go like ride with him while he's on a scooter, scooter, and I'm like, oh, it's hard. It's hard, man, because I I feel like the same thing. Like if he if he really asked me, if my son really asked me for a scooter, I'd buy him one. Oh yeah, of course. But like. But yeah, I don't necessarily. I like. I want him to enjoy. But bikes, inside, but, you're like cringing yeah. a little yeah. bit, right? <laughs> so, I mean, it's one of those things. Like him outside and him having fun. Uh, yeah. Like, and it's like when we would go out and ride bikes. We actually haven't ridden in a while, but it's like, it's like I don't want to push him because I want him to be, have yeah. this positive experience. Yeah. yeah. And if it's like if it turns negative in any sense, he's not going to want to do it again yeah. next time. And That's like, exactly and, what I do with Cole. Yeah. yeah. But exactly. at least try it. You yeah. Know, yeah. Try to, yeah. So. Uh, and, and it could have been worse. It could have been rollerblades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could have been. They're called inline speed. I mean, it could have been video games and you're just like yeah, inside and you're just sipping on a big gulp or whatever. It's crazy how sucking fast. Sucking on a, on a fucking vape pen big oh. gulp in video games or something. Yeah. Who knows? It's crazy how so. fast all your little like things go out the window when it's your kid. You know, yeah. You're like, oh, want to do that? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. cool. Okay, cool. As long yeah. as you don't want to do this. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's always something worse now. You like so, men. That's sorry, cool. there's new people That's, at the house with the dog is losing his mind nice. outside. So you, um, we're not beating the dog. What, what you were saying about Cole, he's does not want to follow it. Like he doesn't want to feel like you're Dave's kid. Right? Yeah. yeah. He's made that clear to you. Um, he, I think he's I proud guess, that yeah. he's Dave's kid. He just doesn't want to people thinking that yes. he's getting That's the biggest. what he has because Dave is his dad. Mm. Yeah. He's just doing everything on his terms. I, I do feel like there's a big enough gap between the two of you, though, that it can't be it can't be misconstrued that way. But is it, is it true? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure at a point GT was like, "Hey, we want to hook him up," and he and he was like, "No, I don't. I'd rather do it correct, my own way." Correct. Correct. Right? Uh, it wasn't the image he was looking for. Yeah, because he would always and be that in would your relate. Shadow. Well, yeah. he was on Haro for a minute there, wasn't he? Uh, uh, almost almost panned out that way, but yeah. And in my head, or he wasn't. Yeah, I would have loved to see I him think, be on Dino. Yeah. You know, that would have been, to me, that would have been the ultimate, like I said before, if he would have, they would have redone one of your ads, like one of those, that famous one of you doing the wall right over out of the ditch over the fence, <sighs> redone with Hammond said, welcome back to the team Volker. That to me, that would have been nice. like a dream. Huh. It is. It's but so, it's, it's so cool from us. Yes. Yeah, so because, the whole generation. Yeah. But it's because yeah. GT was so cool to me at yeah. that era. Yeah. Kids today, they don't care yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 Maybe I'm the not. rock of Bubica, but he'd have to put a break yeah. on his body. But I mean, like, what did your dad do for a living? Uh, he was an accountant and he made furniture. Yeah. So it's like they're, they're in the accounting department. And you're like employee of the month. 
<laughs> Escamilla Jr. You know, like what do you, you know, like that's the equivalent. That's literally the equivalent. Like he doesn't want to be in in yeah. his lane. He wants his own lane. Like I think that's that's important. But and I, it's I, cool that Dave like respected it in so many ways and not like I, I do what, what my dad people. does for a living. Oh really? Living. An engineer. Well, that's cool. I mean, so does so does Cole. So talk of shit. Hmm? No, <laughs> but I but I do feel like of all the people though, like if I had to be like, oh, who is your dad? And you're like, my dad's um, Ice Money. You know what I mean? And now yeah. I'm a bike rider. That'd be awesome. Or the Lord Volker. Yeah. I mean, I think, I I think he's, got, money. he's got the easier one. He's got <laughs> the one that seems a little easier. They were showing up in limos and stuff with all kinds of... Was it the albino, jumping the al- albino? Jumping yeah. albino. What is it? Yeah. What is it? Jumping... The albino jumping god? <laughs> <laughs> the albino jumping god. It's so good. God. It's run- I like it. It rolls right off the tongue, yeah, too. I'm going to send you a shirt that says albino <laughs> jumping <Yeah>. god. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I have a picture of jump. Dave on there, but bleach it out so you can barely see it white on white. I'm going to make that shirt. I'm going to make that shirt. <laughs> you barely see the image of Dave I'm in the shirt. Bino jumping guy. Change your, change your Instagram name to the al, uh, at the Albino. You should. God. <laughs> oh, Let my it. God. Uh, it might God. be taken. What, it, might be, it might be these days. At what Someone's point in it right your now. career, did want to jump back a little bit, but did you... Not know it was over, but did you let go of the ego of it being over? Right? Like where you were like, you were no longer, I'm never, you didn't have that drive to be like, I have to be the best. I got to prove myself. We were just yeah, like, I think it was uh, the last street contest that ever happened or whatever, you know, like. Which, which one's, one's the last one? I, I don't know. I, I don't know how that faded away, but I just remember once that was X done, games? I just wanted to do shows. That's all I cared about. Was it oh, like X literally. Game? Oh, okay. So you're saying even like the meet the street ones, like you're like, yeah, I'm done then. Yeah. Well, Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't crazy. think there was any more that coming up. Crazy. Really. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it seems. But you it's, wrote, but you wrote like the you wrote that first Hoffman contest in Texas at, at Jeff Phillips Skate Park. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, because there's yeah. a big photo of you doing a massive look back over the spine. Yeah, that was a and cool you did all the contest, manuals man. up the ramp to wall rides mm. and wall manual. Wall yeah, I did all the street stuff behind yeah. the scenes because that's what I wanted to yeah. do. Yeah, but you were still ripping that fill in that spine, dude. But yeah. that would have been years later. You know, so but is there a point where you were like, uh, I'm okay with just enjoying my life now? I don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I and mean, I was at that point, but I forgot why I entered it. I guess because it was a fun ramp or something. You know, I I was just going to contests. They were sending me to contests just to hang out and party. Yeah. Did, did you ride the Thrasherland contest? I was it would have been the there, same year, but I didn't ride. Yeah. Didn't ride. You yeah, didn't ride just that? like uh, uh, I did burning bike though. Yeah. Well, burning bike is that? Uh, I mean, What's I, I, bike? I wanted to talk about that just because of that. If you think of think of one photo from Burning Bike, oh, is that one? Uh, there was some weird contest, right? You had the long. It was a, it was a Wilkerson I, up the rolling or something. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, and it's like I can't. That's oh, the, that one. That's the only ever thing. The yeah. tabletop over the hip. Because yeah. I thought the one that was better was. Oh, when that's right. Kevin, yeah, that's Kevin, the only that's thing. A, that's right. Kevin Gucciettis is a doing a cherry photo. picker, yeah. and I jumped over There's him like on the box jump, and I'm twice as high as him. Yeah, no, no, that's not the people when people think about. I love that. I know which photo that is. No. He's talking about this one. Yeah, that hip. Yeah, I put yeah, the yeah. launch ramp yeah. up on the uh, the on the rolling. bank or yeah. whatever it was. Yeah, God, I need rolling. to find that photo. Even if not, then I I need to find it. Were and there just put it in were here. there any tricks that eluded you? Uh, you just tail whips. Tail whips. Yeah, yeah, that was my kryptonite. Tail bears. Yeah. On jumps or, or quarter pipes? Uh, both. I I just I had you know they had that photo at the break. Hall of Fame when he got inducted. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. I had a mental problem with that, you know, like just tail whips were something I didn't want to figure out. Yeah. Like I just got <laughs> sure. hurt on it right away. And I was like, ah, I don't just need never to never clicked. Like, uh, there was no reason. Right. I, I was out entertaining people the way I wanted to doing what I wanted to. I, I wasn't trying to win contest. Or was nothing, there ever so. a trick that you could just that you wanted to get and you never got it? Uh, tail whips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for some reason, it was like I wanted to do them because it was important. It was one of the major tricks, right? You know, yeah. like everybody can do tail whips. You can't do tail whips. What? Mine's turn downs. There it is. There it no is. kidding. This is I was, a, I was starting a, to think. Am I wrong? Yeah, no, you're right. I can't do turn downs. I mean, the, oh, not the photo. not the best. I'll have to find the actual photo, but that just so the little kicker, fucking head height. It was such a fun plus contest. An entire person, and it's like. Shirtless, the fucking Oakleys <laughs> on, yeah. like, Jesus like just like a not giving a fuck type <laughs> thing, you know? What like it was that kind of contest. Was, yeah. What stage is the mullet in? But like, is the landing doesn't look very wide? Yeah. Either, is huh? that the end? No, of, it, it was pretty thin. That looks like, yeah. You look like you're about to land on it. 
So the whole, I mean, the photo, it, the, it's crazy that they did this pan up thing. I mean, yeah. I get the effect, but they need to show the entire photo. Yeah. But um, look at that, dude, it's so, so sick. And it's like that's the only thing I ever remember from any of those events, right you on. know. And I feel like they maybe that. I don't. I'm not. I feel like I'm speaking for you, but like I feel like that was probably they're like that's what I want to do. Like yeah. I'll go to an yeah. event, but I want to do like that one thing that, that one like thing. that stands out, and like I don't give a fuck if I get third or first or yeah. I'm into that. yeah. yeah. So. And, and this was that contest. I, I yeah. got like second or whatever because I didn't care about what I just did what I wanted to. And one of the things I did was there's a five foot quarter to a wall ride or something, mm -hmm. and I aired higher than the wall. Like yeah. I got above that. You know, fuck yeah. Like, Isn't that weird? Tall. You just pick these things, you see them, and you're like. I'm doing that today, and that's it. That's all that yeah. matters. That's what I and want. Other people see it, and they're like, "That's Why? the." I mean, but Dave's not a competitive person. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he looked at you funny. I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but like I think a competitive person. There's a, there's two types of it. not like some people that are super over the top competitive. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then I, you got to turn everything into a, a competition. <laughs> <laughs> Motivator for life. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like that's. Part of the that's my gripe with a lot of events these days. It's like a polished, a polished thing where it's like if you let people fall and you have these like, you know, these not like a best trick event, but like the ability to like try something crazy. It's mm -hmm. like that's what makes the best content. That's what pushes yeah. BMX. That's like, you know, doing doing a bunch of tricks that are all really hard within it. In a confined 60 seconds is cool yeah. yeah but it's like a different style of bike riding yeah, yeah especially when that. you're training for that particular yeah. contest yeah. and you've yeah. been doing the same line over and over and yeah. over and over and over and i guess from my long-standing bmx fan you know i'm like that's really cool but like that's like i want to see the new shit i want to see the scary shit i want to yeah. see the different which we, shit, we don't see you as know? much anymore yeah you don't see yeah. it too much which yeah. is it depends a contest on, like, coming platform up that's being presented <laughs> yeah. on okay. yeah I know. The last Vans contest I went to that, um, I guess, Dakota yeah. designed the course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that was pretty good. It was a the really one, cool The event. one at Huntington yeah. Beach? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. course was the funnest looking course I've yeah. seen in a long time. Yeah. It yeah. did have a couple dead spots, so I don't understand. I'm like, why is there just not something here? Why is there? I never know yeah. why there's a wedge yeah. that stops in a corner. Yeah. But well, like, it, was a skate, it was a skate event, too, so they yeah. switched out the centerpieces but it was, for the it skaters. Was, so. They did a pretty good job. I thought it was pretty one. good. It was yeah. cool. that was a that was a cool event because in the the qualifying event the qualifying was which insane was nuts and it was like it was better that was, than the contest and it was a hundred percent organic where yeah. it was like because people were just like oh my god and they just fucking Dennis everybody was went dropping insane. bombs yeah was everybody like, was yeah, everybody. Dennis, felix was like, yeah and oh then god. and then the next day everybody was like dude i'm fucked up from yesterday <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, literally, like we went way too hard everybody just like caught a feeling and yeah. then now we're like you, yeah we're you, fucked. you might not remember that but that's how all con like all those bs contests were like that yeah, yeah. like yeah. everyone was like you didn't know what it, like now you can be like i know what everyone's doing well like yeah like but using using x games like you know as an example is like everybody is playing this strategy and like what made the vans event so sick is that it just went out the fucking window yeah they were like oh yeah i'm just like gonna go crazy right that now was one that, and i forgot that there's an event tomorrow. that was a great great event yeah it was cool it was cool it does exist you know like yeah. those events you know like a battle of hastings has that element too yeah uh you know simple session I feel like they've maybe lost go through a plot. phases. Yeah, or it's like they need to get kind of get back to that. I I've said that multiple times. So and then you know it, it's best trick events are fucking cool because of that wild yeah, the, ass element. Do, the have you been to Swamp Fest? Looks really cool. Swamp, I have been to Swamp Fest. Yeah. Swamp Fest yeah. is a whole other element. Yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah. So. It takes a yeah. certain. Type Did you of go? Rider. I I've been there uh, several times. Yeah. yeah. I think that's part of the thing too. Is the Volker's there, fucking sipping a beer, just watching? <laughs> did you get yeah. like a? What did you get? Like a he did get a, award, he, he right? Did get a, he did get a legend award. Oh, you got a legend was, award? That was yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Hall of Fame, yeah. Yeah. Cup? legend, yeah. legend so. from San Diego. Yeah. yeah. No, that was a big surprise, man. That that's was a, really that's cool. a goal. Cool. It's supposed Dave to. Dave teared so. up. Yeah. Oh, I would. Oh, that's Pranny awesome, picked dude. the song. Yeah, it was just total surprise. Yeah, that's. Oh, is that what the thing you made for? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I that's I talked on it. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. about that. Yeah. So you were part of it. Yeah. Um, let's talk about another achievement, of, you know, Hall of Fame. I think. What's what, that like? Was that was gnarly Five because I, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to do a speech, whatever. And then so I drunk. talked to Blyther and those guys, and they all had, like, written a speech. You For know? you? Because or it is own, kind of a respected 
type of feeling there. So then I panicked. I was like, oh, my God, I got to do a speech, like a real speech. And remember, you know, I don't yeah. have a good memory. I got to remember everybody to thank and yeah. that kind of crap. So it, it really felt like it was something special. Like oh, it, it cool. meant a lot. I never know what those things feel like because I haven't attended any. Yeah, it yeah. was very professional. Like it was, you know, it was in San Diego, which was great. But now it's yeah. Oklahoma, it so I don't get to go. It's like the anymore. it's like the polar opposite of Swamp Fest. Literally, well, the, the, oh, yes. the, you get the, the blackest of black versus the whitest of white. Yes. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah. Sometimes you'll see the list of people nominated, and you're like, "What planet are these people from that are nominating them?" You know, Pete. I know. Well, sometimes it's, it's it's confusing to me because sometimes people get a nominee. You're like, "There's a hundred people before you that need to be I getting it before anyone get nominated." Last year, though. You were see, and but that I, makes sense. This year too. Yeah, but I that think, makes sense but... to me. But then I'll see other people nominated. I'm like, not that they don't deserve it at some point. Yes, but just why is that a little first? early? For a little early. Like Mira and and yeah. Bestwick, you know, I thought they or like were Alan a little Cook, early, but you know what now mean? Like, they have gotten different categories. So oh, is that what it is? Not, yeah, there, there's it. a couple. I just never understood it because I'm like, this is like a wild level of. Let's just start in 1980 and let's move. Let's move up. Yes. Well, I think there's some people that have been on that list for a little while that, for some reason, it's weird that they're not in there. Like Jeff Watson, to me, why but, isn't? But Jeff they only Watson... do one at a t one at a time, right? It's yeah, one do a year. You know, if you're thinking going back to when they started putting, you know, this together for freestyle, it's like why, why would why would you leave Jeff Watson out? You know, well, maybe because a lot of pe people don't remember, remember Jeff him, Watson. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I don't. You don't even know who he is, no, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a major influence to people like me, you mm -hmm. know. And then you have Dave Vanderspeck. I know Vanderspeck, obviously. Okay, you know, one of like, the most. I mean, it, top top to ten me, most it's like famous the, the BMX three photos. Guy, yeah, three yeah. guys that I, I. To me, it's like puzzling why they're not already in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. And that is Jeff Watson, Hugo Gonzalez, Plus. and um, Dave Vanderspeck. Yeah. I don't understand why those guys, three guys, aren't. But are they even on the nomination list? Yeah, they get on the nomination list, but like I said, like. If you look at the early stuff, like the very first stuff you see of bull riding, it's Jeff Watson. You know, if you look at the old BMX action magazines and, you know, it's, it's Jeff Watson. So, you know, there's other people in there, too, you know, but to me, he was a humongous influence. Yeah. You know, and Hugo Gonzalez. And Dave Anderson. But anyway, let's get I think, I, I mean, think isn't, have, isn't, it's all peer voted though, right? Yeah, like, it is. So I think those, that's, that's a flaw. Anymore. I mean, it's it can, flaw. as somebody who counts Norica votes, it, it can be a flawed system. Yeah. And sometimes things, people vote because, because they don't remember Jeff Watson. But they, they don't, they're, they're not think, looking at it objectively. And I think another side of it is, is how, um, and this is the corporate side of it, mm -hmm. you know, were you a big, did you ride for a big company? Mm -hmm. You know, were you one of those Haro or Skyway or GT riders? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I mean, do you, but they also only do one freestyler a year, right? Yeah, and they do like a bunch of races a year. But well, they have like, like gonna, they have like industry person of the year and I mean, stuff but, like that. But I'm saying at one, at one yeah. rider yeah. a year, yeah. no one's ever going to get in. Yeah. You get 20 people over the next 20 years. It's, well, I mean, it's a so, weird thing. I mean, I think like because when we, I mean, just to add some opposing side to it, it was when when we were doing ride stuff mulligan and i would get in you know heated arguments about the the legend category and he's like well we need a panel of people and we need all this stuff and i'm like look for the first 20 years there's no wrong answer like we're not doing it in order where it's like this is legend number one this is legend number two this sure. is legend number you know it's like yeah. there's no wrong answer there's there's 50 people that we could give this award to where you'd be like yeah they're a legend like it makes sense yeah. you know like and so it's hard from the hall of fame when it's when it's an order thing and stuff like that. You hope that in, you know, our lifetime, that's what I'm that, getting, you know, about, like yeah. is like, is that somebody pays homage to those people and, and gets it. And it's like, but it, it, some things can definitely be objectively wrong, you know, after, after however many people, I mean, when was the first freestyle one? I mean, I went to it. It was like 12 years ago, 15 years ago. Yeah. Like when, when do you think Hugo and Jeff and, and, uh, and Vanderspeck should have been in there God, like, like in eight very, years ago? Yeah, maybe yeah. like very early on. Yeah. I feel like, then that's you know, because then that their influence be an and their impact and, yeah. you know, their contribution to BMX. And that's what it boils down to me is yeah. their contribution. Yeah. You know, and like what was your impact on BMX and what was your contribution to it? Dave's is massive. Yeah. You know, so yeah. to me, it's like, that's a freaking no, no brainer. Yeah. But well, I, think, I, think I mean, hopefully get... some somebody from USA BMX maybe sees this and then conversation starts. And then, they just need and, well, and yeah. then you got to start thinking about yeah. to get it caught up. Well, yeah. in today's day and age, you need to start thinking about female uh, BMX freestyle. 
Yeah, it's it's yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's I, I think it could be a ways off. I mean, we did. The, I'm, I'm sure, yeah. you know, they need to start thinking about thinking it now about because it, yeah. it is going to be start coming up in the next five. Yeah, in the next five yeah, years. Five years. Like, yeah. yeah, I would assume. These so. couple of women, the first yeah. women that really made yeah, it. Yeah. Made that, I mean, it's Nina. Bridge that gap. Yeah, 100% Nina. Yeah, Nina. Yeah, Nina. yeah, like her Easy. contribution is yeah. massive. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's, 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 uh, yeah, it, that stuff is is hard. It opens you up, and to, you know it well. So yeah, I, I mean, I know, I know, opinions. I know a part. I know a part of it. I can, I can only relate it to what we did. Do you, you know? vote? Uh, You're I, in industry, so you. Do yeah, vote. I think I do. I definitely, I should get that. I, I don't, did I? I don't know if I got it last year. How much do I got to pay you for your vote? Uh, <laughs> you showed up, dude. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it, uh, it. Yeah, I mean I think it's I think it's amazing that they're doing that. We we talked about Absolutely. trying to do a Hall of Fame type thing, even, and that was like the year before they started, and we we're like fucking more power to them. Like yeah. you know because it's much it's respect a, to them. It's, for a, it's a lot of weight on your shoulders to yeah. handle that shit, and it opens you up to to. Critique. Criticism. Yeah, I do feel sure. like they yeah. need they need a freestyle dude in there. Yeah, mostly racers. Yeah. So I just feel like they need someone. And it's a USA. A I mean, that's Ka- I should be someone Kyle like Carlson. Ice, someone like Ice but, Money. There yeah, you go. Ice, yeah. yeah, I mean that would be um, Carl Carlson works for USA BMX oh, and and he you know it, but he's but, but younger he, as well. He's younger, so but he's also it not a rider, so he might not have been influenced well, the same way. Well, do you know what I mean? I mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't say that as a diss, but. I was influenced more as a writer by writers, so I might have a better idea of who really was influenced and stuff, other than what the magazines or what you yeah, yeah, perceived yeah. it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a long-time industry dude. He yeah. hasn't he hasn't ridden in a while, but he yeah. definitely did write. No, no, I didn't mean like yeah, that, but, yeah. you know, like like me. The no, same reason your, I'm here. Same I liked your opinion. Here. You're looking yeah. at a magazine, you're going, oh, that guy should be in. Yeah. 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 But, like, there's a difference. Like, like so the same reason I'm here, because I he's these guys, they move, affected move this my micro, life. Move the microphone so, for you. Yeah. Uh, these guys affected my writing you know more yeah. than maybe yours because of the era yeah yeah i mean i would think i mean you know i've i've but you're from i told i told dave my first like well obviously i think it was x games was my first interaction with him but like i have a i have a funny story from the the mission valley park that he was riding in the beginning of lord lord volker doing the ice on the sub and the single fat single coat Cobain's line. Line. i literally was like i would just watch him ride and he would just drop in and go like five feet over the spine and it was yeah. like how do you do that? Yeah. He's like 120 PSI. <laughs> Is that what you said? And I literally, I went back and I fucking pumped up my tires. I got to like 100 and 110 or something like that. And I tried riding like that. And I was like, and it was, it was fucking way faster, fast, obviously. But fast. it was so painful. That I never couldn't do it. 120? I told, I told him this and he literally, he was bullshitting. He was like, I have never run 120 yeah. PSI in my life. And I was like, I was more fuck? like an 80 with a little suspension. Mine was 80 every time. Even now it's 80 pounds. You run yeah. that much? I run eighty, yeah. 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 And but then I, the other the other story is that we But both, I have pizza cutters too. I don't run the real oh, fat. Oh, they were thin. Too. And he may have been bullshitting with me with this. And I don't even know if I told you this one, is that like we learned I couldn't do ice pick stalls on the ramp. And he was like, Oh, I can't I've never done those either. And we both learned ice pick stalls like I, I, uh, over the spine to that. No, sun. like just on a ramp. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you're like, and so he's probably bullshitting me. No, no. Oddly I, enough, you don't seem like an ice pick kind of guy. I, I didn't like dabbling with that. No, I hated I click, clank, clunk. So yeah, that I hated would be ice, ice pick to toothpick yeah, to yeah. clank, clunk, kink, clunk. Remember that? Yeah. I like on. to go fast. Yeah. I just yeah. can't even picture you getting into an ice pick. Like, it just seemed like you'd be like, yeah. stupid. Is that a San Diego thing, you think? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, because it's, it's got riders that just like to go fast and, and just hawk off. It's, so, I mean, it's funny it's, because I've literally, I've done like less than tail, 10 tail taps on a ramp in my entire life because I've always been like, well, why would you do a tail tap when you could do like a deck manual? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, like I You're literally right. like, I'm like, just, I've, I feel like it's the San Diego thing. Yeah. Like, well, uh, with the hill, and, hills and you know, speed. Style of riding. Hills and speed. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think the influence is there, like as from like Volker carried down to to Gary, carried down to Dennis. Carried, you know, like it, like yeah. well, unconscious. It like yeah. like this is how you're supposed to ride bikes. Mm-hmm. You know, since we've gone the direction of yeah. Gary and Dave, I mean uh, Dennis. Who is your favorite rider to watch right now? Uh, uh, right now? Yeah, right now. Like when you were, which which rider speaks other to you than the most? Cole? Other than Cole, Cole. yeah, yeah you can't, you. not not Cole. He didn't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that that's a tough one. You know, there's so many good riders. Right? Uh, yeah, but there's but there, yeah, there's plenty of good riders. But there's some people but you're there, like, there's oh. nobody that I'm just like totally focused on. You know what I mean? Because every 
part of the sport is so advanced and it just boggles my mind to watch ramp riding. It boggles my mind to watch people getting up on roofs and jumping onto rails off of the roof. And <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, is, it, I really am fascinated every time I see some of the new stuff that's out. And Cole, he's like, watch this guy's part, you know? So he shows me stuff. Yeah. Is there any guy, cause I know for me, there's so many parts that come out. I couldn't possibly watch them all, nor do I want to, but there's certain guys. If I see their name, I'm watching it. Like Dennis. Yeah, like Dennis. Hundred percent. Like yeah. Dennis. Dennis is a monster. To me, Dennis is the last of the gladiators. He is. He's the last point. gladiator like, rider. Captain like, Morgan's still hanging contest. in there. Morgan Wade. <laughs> Morgan. He, but he's he's before Dennis. So you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He's he's a, he's, a, he's a generation before. But he's like the last of like the like like if Dennis was around in the nineties, he would you know, he would have fit right in. Right. Oh, for sure. When yeah. you see him going as fast as he can to a yeah. whip yeah. to a wall ride, are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, dude, when he whipped that dumpster at the Vans thing. Yeah, that yeah. was nutty. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, yeah, D- Dennis to me Felix is Felix also. Respect. I really like watching. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Incredible. He's just incredible. Incredible. He did yeah. a fakey seven twenty at that contest. Yep. Too. Yeah. Like, unbelievable. Fakey seven twenty. Yeah. You ever think that was going to be possible? No. no come no. on. No. Yeah. no. Remember, yeah, when, that, remember when Blither did it? was like one of the hardest tricks of the whole contest. Yeah. Fakey 720. Yeah. That fakey 7. Remember when Blither did a 720 fakey on the quarter pipe? <laughs> yeah. Pulled it? <laughs> really? Yeah. It was like, yeah. it was an eight foot quarter pipe. It was in Canada? In Canada. Canada. Out of the was, coping. Oh, yeah. He just, he wasn't even mean to. That It was wet out. It was raining. It slid around 720. It's on video. You can Google it. What? How do the Volkers or Dave Blither 720 quarter pipe or something? I think there's, to me, there's a lot of riders I always look forward to, to their parts, and there's such different riders. You know, they're, they all contribute something really good to BMX. You know, you could take like Chad Curley, or mm-hmm. you could take Dennis, or Felix, or even Dak, or, you know, there's so, I mean, there's so many different styles of riding, and they're, they're, you know, the way they see BMX is really totally cool. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's all different. And, I think it's just contributing. They're all contributing to this beautiful thing that we love so much. And, and, uh, to me, it's, it's all inspiring. You know, it doesn't matter. I mean, you have like Devin small, a a guy like that, which is a completely different rider than Dennis, but I usually want to see them ride. Do this. Yeah. 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 You guys consume BMX every single day. I do. Yeah. He, he, he's a lot more of a, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, awesome. He's very yeah, educated like, on it. And I'm just a duh guy, you know. Yeah, I, I love it. I just it. ride I mean, my bike. Still, I still, it. like, in my head, I'm still, like, 25 years old, you know. So yeah. I still love it. I still yeah. like to watch it. But, like, if I'm flipping through Instagram or something, I'm watching. It's either jujitsu or I'm watching BMX. Yeah. That's all I. That's cool. That's, that's all, a, I mean, that's is, awesome. Is there any that's rider that really resonates with you? Even, or what? No, no. Let's, let's narrow it down. Is there any street rider where you're like, "Oh, I, I, I resonate with the way he rides street." Mike Hoder. Mike Hoder. Because yeah. <laughs> street riding has turned into like a Mike Hoder, or it's like Flatland Trials. Yeah. You know, that's really changed on what it, what it is. So yeah, Mike Hoder probably. Mike Holder, even yeah. the, his, just the way he looks on the bike with the elbows out and everything. Mm-hmm. Is it is a little. It is yeah. a little Pete Augustine. Yeah. yeah, it is yeah. a lot like me. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's sick. You know, if I if I could put Mike Hoder Hoder on a on a on a garage door. Yeah. While riding a garage door, yeah. I, guess I could see it. You know, it's funny because we, I think I approached, we had an idea for a magazine article back in the day of like the modern version of these Everybody. people. And we, and I went around and I asked Dave and I was like, I was like, who's like the modern version of you, you think? And he said, he said, Enerson. And then I asked McCoy and he said, Enerson. And then I was like, all right, well, this is turning into shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, this article, Dennis. Yeah, like, oh, 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 Dennis nobody, said, wait, Dennis said he was Anderson. McCoy, McCoy said Anderson. For himself? Yeah. And I was like, because he rides everything. He rides everything. Yeah, I could see it. But it's like, but it was like, oh, this is, I was like, that was the, that pretty much like ended, ended it right that. there. Yeah. You know, like, oh, this article's not. But didn't, didn't dig, dig But I wish I would have known that. I wish I would have known that because that would have like reinvigorated me into like, <laughs> nice. like making it happen. Yeah. You know, like. Dig did so. something like that. Dig did, did, no, did did a skate to biker one. Skate to biker. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. okay. But that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is an interesting. Who would be Matt Hoffman? I don't know. Yeah. I don't the know. problem is here's the problem, and this is nothing, not a dig on anyone. Yeah. <laughs> the guys then were such visionaries that it's hard to yeah hard to put them in a yeah. category with guys who are just doing what everyone else did better. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, so, it's yeah. definitely, it's, it would, it was a hard article to begin with. Yeah. And I think that, that's, I was like, yeah, this thing's but holding on by guys, a thread anyways. Yeah. And then it was like, yeah. all right, it's done. You so. see guys today that are definitely visionaries. 
You know, Dennis, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, De- like Dennis Felix, is. I feel the same way with him. Felix, like, yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. You know? I guess in my head it's hard because I, it just holds a different part. It's not that I'm not impressed by them, but I don't care about it like I did when I was 15. Yeah. So those people don't matter to me. as yeah. like, like I mean, I had a whole Matt Hoffman wall. So uh, Matt Hoffman, every picture, I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, right. You know, I could see something right or amazing at Felix. I'm like, that was insane. I could. I know how hard it is, but then I turn the page and my life goes on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't ever think about it again. I think it's an, I think it's uh, an age thing. Very wise of you to say in the sense of like, I don't care about it. Like I do, because there's a a lot of the, the old guy mentality is like, these guys aren't doing it. And it's like, yeah, but it's really important to other kids right now. And they're having the same feelings that you did when you were 15. It's not, I'm not, it's not a diss on it. It's not a diss on it. I just, it just, I don't, I don't care about it the way I did. So it doesn't mean what it meant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I got to watch that with Cole. You yeah, know, just yeah. who he idolized and yeah. who did he idolize? Uh, th- well, Devin. his main one was definitely Devin. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. It seems That's like cool. totally different writing, huh? And no, not really, and because really, right? Because he he connects manuals in between things, uh, like he flows around. Like and Devin is, I mean, what you think of as Devin as a writer, Devin is incredibly well rounded and uh, it, is so stylish and yeah, so yeah. steezy yeah. and like rides motocross and skateboard. Like he yeah. literally kind of like Cole. In a sense, yeah. like Cole can kind of yeah. do everything too. So yeah, now that you mentioned that, I can see how he can relate like that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, interesting. Yeah, is it? I guess when you're watching, when Cole's showing you stuff, and you're like, I don't know, like what, what's your what's your mentality? Where you look at it and you're like, well, fucking Dino DeLuca did that, <laughs> you know, like, or something like that. Like, it, it ne- is it hard? Is it hard for you to get excited about stuff knowing how gnarly shit was before? Like meaning like not that stuff isn't early now, but you'll see like um, someone do like it. They'll, they'll, someone will get all psyched because someone does a big tabletop out of eight feet high out of a quarter pipe somewhere. But you're like, yeah, but people used to do that on a Kmart bike. Can can yeah. look back. Dino DeLuca. You know what I mean? Some wild ass variation. Candy bar look back. Yeah, the, on risk, a, on the a, risk factor was a lot different on yeah. a Kmart. Bike. Yeah, and people th- those tricks that people <laughs> like, did Kmart, what's are Kmart? so gnarly. And people just people don't do anymore not because they're not hard because they're too hard, right? Who, when's the last time you saw a candy bar look back? Jamie Beswick? It's the last person who learned one. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Was that Jamie, because that trick's not Jamie cool? Beswick it's because no one's trying to do that remember, no more. Do you remember when knack knacks weren't cool for a while there? Yeah. And yeah. Those, like, people would throw rocks at you if you yeah. knack knack. Well, and that's now, because yeah. McGrath, McGrath blew that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while, yeah, because McGrath. McGrath made it about the yeah. uncoolest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> but then knack knacks are different than they used to be. Yeah, knack knacks are. are now more like crickets. Step remember over, a cricket yeah. was like a step through? Yeah, like, yeah. You yeah. step through the back. That's yeah. right. It was a cricket. My buddy Don Cook used to Yeah, so it's more like crickets now. Instead of like the like like Ryan Vanderveen, yeah, like sticking, swinging it yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, is it? I guess so like for for Cole though, is it? Was it? And does he know a lot more than the average kid of like old school shit? Or is he, he sleeps to podcasts and stuff every night? Yeah, yeah, he he knows everything. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, you're talking about old school stuff? Yeah, I mean, just no, like he, he doesn't know anything. Oh, doesn't know anything. Okay. Yeah, you would think no, just having no this resource Sorry. of like tid, tid, yeah. tidbits, but uh, is hanging he, out with all is the Is he knowledgeable about what you've done? No. What a dick. I, as far as what I a know. dick. <laughs> I don't. Cole. <laughs> he, I know. He, he doesn't get it, though. You know, I, yeah, why would you? Like, yeah, why would you? He, he just doesn't. It's hard to picture if you have all this new world how it was back then yeah like it's a whole different i just in my head i'm like if i was matt hoffman's son and i was a vert rider and i didn't know what my dad had done because that's how it must be like that's equivalent you know like that's the equivalent for cole to you you know he 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 probably probably knows a lot more than he'll tell me got it yeah (laughs) you know he just cool guys you you like that it's because it's your kid he doesn't give a crap it's like people will go up to like my son or my daughter and be like you know your dad is blah 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 and they're like Give a shit. He's this engineer works down the street. <laughs> yeah. He made me do my homework. Hey, he yells at me, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk about. Hey, the- can I talk about Pete for a second? Yeah, of no, course. Just, do we have to? The, the whole image I mean, thing. I am with Mike. <laughs> the whole image thing, right? I mean, you guys definitely looked at him and were like, oh, damn, he's kind of intimidating, right? Did well, he felt, no, he, there was, a, there was he, definitely like a, not danger, but you're like, and not mean. He's all angry. And not mean, but like, 
He wasn't in a pink dino jersey. No. Yeah. You know? Okay. And here's a big thing. He's kind of got like resting violence face. Yeah. And he had tattoos (laughs) before people had tattoos. And tattoos back then were a different thing. Oh, you were dangerous. You were a rebel. You were kicked off the team for that. You were gnarly back (laughs) then if you had tattoos. You know what I mean? Smoked cigarettes. This guy drinking beer before he rode down the alley at Mission Beach hitting the walls (laughs) and shit. Like I was tripping on him going, dude, the guy was a beast and people are still like intimidated of about I, him. I understand the Mike Hoder thing now with you. Yeah, that's kind of it's crazy. Yeah, same rep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I'm a, and obviously I saw Mike Hoder the other day. Actually, I just ran into him in a parking lot. You nice. do that all the time. Yeah, I ride, well, I'm a big Mike Hoder fan. I like, yeah. But like, I love I, his style of ride. How could you not? Yeah. I trying to picture what I think you were like back then and what I thought of. I you. was a nice guy. I, I don't I mean. get the shit that I yeah. hear all the time. Like, uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, you and that dinosaur look pretty close to each other. I mean, it's because you look like American History X. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more dangerous now that I'm older than I was back then. So That's funny. Is this, is this okay? Hicks in action? Is this all right? If I, oh, what was this? Or is, it, is there something? No, there's just, it's always painful watching myself. Of course, right? yeah. It, yeah. I hate it's, watching yeah, it. I just can't stand watching What ramp myself. is that? I hate watching uh, myself. I don't know, but for some reason I had a tube before. I like that toping. Before. For some reason, it had a two by four on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the very beginning of like uh, nose manual, nose bonk stuff. I think. Yeah. Is this what? What video is this? Early. Fix in action. Ooh. Yeah, that was deadly. Sick. Oh, there's that. And grinds were new, I believe. Yeah, and that was pedal. Was that a pedal grind or is that a sprocket grind? Sprocket. It's got the disc. Oh, yeah, the sprocket pocket. Well, I'm on my. Sometimes I'd be on my back pedal, but I try to keep it off the ground because I had DXs and you never wanted to mess yeah. up. <laughs> Don't rub those teeth down. Oh, all those old schools, man. I hate this. It's horrible. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> but it's so good. In, that dude. school's on Lemon Grove, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, Mira Mesa, I think. The Mira Mesa? Yeah, that's Mira Mesa. Nice. Yeah. This is whole. Ah, oh, I can't stand that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stand it. See, but no, it's good. Like it's good stuff. Oh, here we go. TJ Skateboard, dude. I Look at it. It's all bunny hop so right there. Bad. It was. So it's fun. just bunny hop. Stuff. I wish it was still there. Oh my god. Look go at down that. there and get burritos out of the trunk of a car or tacos. I mean, <laughs> yeah. street tacos and a Pepsi. Dude, people, a what year is this? This is 89. late eighties. I know that. Yeah, I remember the first time. There's a chain going across the ramp, right? What ramp? Oh is yeah, that? Oh, you see the yeah. chain down there. What ramp is this? It had it locked up. It was a skate park. I can't remember. One oh, hand. one handed there. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Look how bad that 360 is. That was great. It was like alley oopish. There's oh man, I never got to ride Lakeside that. Lakeside ditch. Yeah, that's Lakeside ditch. Oh, Paper factory it. now. That's oh, that's the envelope street. factory. That's Imperial Ditch. Yeah, dude. You know, I called you guys about. It. We found it and I dug all that stuff out. Remember you know that? that little extension there. That's that you know has that extension. There's a tree there. Me and Gary went and cut the whole tree out. No, really? and wrote it. Yeah, and then I, you know the um the park the uh, manhole cover. Yeah, yeah. We like clean it out. I re-cemented the top. It was like a big deal for me. I was I like, did, this is awesome. It's That's funny a, because we've been talking about doing. We did that thirty years. Yeah. Video yeah. like the recreating the tricks. So we've been talking about doing another one of those. It would yeah. be cool. To, it'd be cool to have you come out. For okay. yeah, like just nice. for just add a little, oh, add is a little this Chris context and stuff like that. Uh, I'd be down for anything. Is this yeah. Chris Potts house? Yeah, that was Chris yeah. Potts house. Oh, look at that no footer. So, <laughs> so toboggan was toboggan, sick, but you were kind of known for toboggan, weren't you? I feel like you had a couple toboggan photos. Yeah, that were like a, it made you look was. powerful. <laughs> That's all I like to do. Was that right this there. this backyard looked awesome? It was fun. I sweated that in the magazines. <laughs> Uh, I keep picturing Bob Harrow. Where are the boys play? play <laughs> <laughs> Tattoos, scary guy, San Diego. Uh, whatever. <laughs> scary guy. Um, did you ever have it? Well, did you have a video part that you were like, "This is the video part," or was it just Lord Volker? Where like nowadays things are so based on video parts, and some writers never had. Like, like Dennis McCoy has never really had a video yeah, part. Yeah. But do you uh, feel like right you, on. Yeah, right on. Right on. But that the, was, but that I mean, wasn't, like, that was agro like, you were in the whole video. Agro man. Agro man. Because you were, agro, you were the first agro man in the video. Yeah. Right? When you first see agro man, that's you in the dirt jumps. Yeah. 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 With the Godzilla. Is that, is that what Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's Dave. Oh. Dave and Matt played uh, agro man. And Eddie. And Eddie. And Eddie. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see if we can. <laughs> that's James Arrington right there. It's so good. And Dude, he bad. went to, he went to Swamp Fest this year. Oh, really? Yeah, he was at Swamp Fest. Was he? Yeah, Jimmy was. Yeah, he I, he said he was just happened to be like in Florida. Is and that he was you like, there? No way. Yeah, 
That's my package. That's my package. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Guys, this is what BMX is used to doing the voiceover, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> God. Where's this at? Dude, Mission Trails, heading Mission down Trails? to the jumps. Oh, this heading was, down. Yeah, yeah. I was just hauling ass, doing my stuff. And then you come down the, the hill sun. and hit death, right? Yeah, the Godzilla. It, it just kind of led to the Imagine the Eddie alone in a room just making yeah, these know. sounds. I know. <laughs> and the thing is, he's cracking himself up while doing it. Like, thinking yeah. it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? Devil machine. <laughs> you I don't that. remember that. <laughs> this video had gnarly stuff in it. I had the first double tail whip, right? I think. Uh, really? Joe Johnson, I think. <laughs> so corny, but good. The best is I think he filmed that by himself. He did. That yeah. looks like it's on a yeah. tripod. It yeah. is. Yeah, was it? Like, wasn't this a, a school project for yeah, him or something? So. Was is it? that what it was? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Hoover High. <laughs> this is, I'll put this I'll put this in the in the bio, but where's the Godzilla one? Where Right, oh, there. this is right where you're doing this yeah. stuff, yeah. <laughs> so the ninjas want to get the, the magical bracelet, right? It's a necklace. This was my uh, yeah, my local jumping spot right here. Where the was closest this at? To my, Santee? It, it was just Santee, pretty close to the Santee Lakes. <laughs> it was just basic little tiny yeah. blips. But the whole thing, the whole video is is yeah. amazing. If you guys want to, if people haven't seen Agro Man, it is uh, that sums it up fairly well. But it the is, very first BMX video, it was, I believe so. Like like very, as like a very first video right well like a right. writer or own like a like uh, a i think there was like little like an independent project or something I like think that maybe i yeah. think there was little it was before like 101 tricks and all yeah that. Was, was it i don't know did you ever do any of those 101 tricks yeah, yeah. Uh, wild oh was, before we get away from it i i, we I didn't want, even talk about the hall of fame but yeah we didn't well i guess we can go oh we did we did we did a little bit but Screw um them anyway. hope the kids the kids are here but that's fun. That's fine. Um, I wanted to see about the. We may just close that window. Uh, this photo. How does this photo come about? <sighs> well, there's that one. This one. Why is it so small? What do you mean? That's just. That's but just like a, a regular Tuesday. One, yeah. Right. Uh, that that was the image they were coming up for me, and it it, it was a. F- Offending to me, I guess, is I was offended by it. Like, I, I what? I got to pretend to be something I'm not, you know? Like, uh-huh. I'm just a happy-go-lucky guy that likes to ride bicycles, and now I'm this image type of thing. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm this. He does make you look kind of mad, mean. If, if you look close, I have stitches in my lip. They put makeup on it, and then they put like fake scratches other places and stuff <laughs> like I, it was just weird in general we got such you know? a kick out of what was the point yeah, though that's, what, what, did they ever the tell point? you like what, what are they what were they trying to sell I, like volker the beast we gotta talk like, to magoo about it wasn't this. like beast volker no it's like, it lord like, volker chains can't hold him down <laughs> i would have been better if you were being crucified on a cross <laughs> it would have made more sense <laughs> but right like there's no like animal beast what yeah, I I honestly have no idea. But so how do they how do they pitch this on you? They're like, hey, we're gonna do a magazine, like, yeah, do like just a shoot, a, and I, then did they tell you at all beforehand? No, okay. no idea about nothing, dude. I'm just like this kid that likes to ride bikes, and all of a sudden they're telling me, hey, just come over here and we'll do this. And how I'm old like, you? what? <laughs> Twenty or nineteen in this one? Yeah, yeah, you look young for sure. Yeah, yeah, that would, must have been a bummer because I mean we've all been in those situations where you show up and you're like, this is not what I. And you feel this like this isn't I have, who I am. And yeah. I, I can't, I can't do this. And but it, and it's it's funny that it's turned into such an iconic image of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's on your, isn't it on your your plaque for Hall of Fame? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. A, yeah. like it his is. That's the photo they used on your yeah. plaque. Yeah, yeah. And, and he he apologized for it too. It's like you know I probably shouldn't have did that. And I Who's was like, this? whatever. Like, uh, Gork. Yes, thank you. But it's I mean it's it's only just like the top bit. You can't see the chains or anything like that, but it's like that's turned into like an iconic image of yeah. of Dave. It's it funny. Been the Rock of Ubica. 
<laughs> yeah. That well, was an man. That was an iconic issue. It's, you know what I liked about the Rock Abubica a cover was that not that anybody forgot about Dave Volker, not that anybody forgot about Dave Volker, but uh, people forgot about Dave Volker. That that Dave Volker. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like it wasn't that like I didn't. I mean I'm from here, obviously, so I'm a little more in tune with what's going on in Southern California and the people, but like. Even when that cover came out, I was like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was just did. out doing shows, right? I was kind of hidden. I was, well, I did the X -Games, But yeah, but, but I mean, you, I think it always is it. Like, there's plenty of times when people are like, well, where'd you go, Mike? I'm like, well, I was busy. The whole, I was riding the whole time. What are you talking about? But, you know, you you had kind of gotten out of whatever. You know what I mean? You hadn't. And that wasn't like, I wasn't expecting that from you at that time. Right on. And it's, hey. not, it's not that I didn't think you could do it. It just, uh, you, because some of those things you got to like, you're like, okay. That's one of those things you're like, okay, today I'm going to go do this or I'm going to go to the hospital. Well, you know? here, here's the deal. Losi calls me up and he goes, hey, I uh, got this special issue coming up, our 50th anniversary f uh, cover, and I, I need something. Do you have anything? And I said, you know what? I was hiking with my kids the other day and uh, I saw this thing. Let me go check it out and see if it's possible. So I went back up. I looked at it and I brought a shovel and stuff and I started digging and I was going, okay, uh, this is going to work. Show up tomorrow at 11 o'clock. The sun should be perfect at that time. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. I got you. And he showed up and we just banged it. So he had right no away. idea. You didn't tell him. No. How did the lip get packed down? <laughs> <laughs> And how many tries? Do, do, so do you see could, the wood in it, the holding the dirt in the background? This. We put a piece of wood. It should to be. Fill it should it be in. coming up. Look here. at this. Look at this. What's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a piece of wood that's holding the dirt in the oh, back. Back. How many? There. How many clips? How many tries did it take? Uh, I did it on my third one, but oh. the crashing part. No. Was also, to go no back pads. And shoot my video. No pads. Wait. Hold on. So you didn't film it the first time? Well, the first time, Losi got it on video and. Uh, and uh, the obvious cover the photo, shot, yeah. but um, wait, what? Where did the? Yeah, is there more footage of it? Why am I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so that was the original footage. So um, Eddie didn't want to buy the footage of that. He wanted to reshoot it himself for so Lord Volker. To, yeah. Oh. So he didn't have to. So I went so back to shoot it, it, and I didn't want to do it. And I told him, "I got to do it. I do not want to do this." He's all, you know. I hate to say it, but it's your video, you know, you kind of got to do it type of thing, you know? Yeah. And then I blew my shin out on it and he was like, I will never tell somebody to do something again. Like, or, yeah. you know, push yeah. for somebody to do so something. So you actually like blew his stitches status. Yeah, yeah. it was huge. Yeah, it, was, it looked like You it. could totally see the bone. See and so you, did you ever pull it that second time? No. 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 Yeah. I so did. are you wearing the same clothes too or is that, no, you're wearing different clothes? This is for, this is a time for This Eddie? is This Eddie's is for Eddie, video, yeah. yeah. I mean, see how soft it was. Yeah, that sucked me in. <laughs> but that's literally the bone right there. Uh, oh yeah. my god, Ugh. it's a nice one. Yeah. Um. So it makes it makes more sense now. I mean, I get it from Eddie's perspective because he probably only had that static shot, right? Because yeah. Losi was shooting the photo. So uh, the first time, the first time when you're shooting the photo with Losi. It's three tries, but obviously no real crashes. Or... Uh, no, I kind of jumped off. I ruined the lip, and yeah. that's when the infamous Perenne pissed on the lip to make it so or wet to <laughs> just pack the jump again. And then Losey gets down there and starts packing it with his hands, forgetting he just pissed on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then, so pulled third try. And then, so it's just you three people. Yeah. It's just, wow. Yeah. All right. That's great. Yeah. And I, I still remember to this day when I was up on top, ready to load up and bunny hop as far as I could backwards because I had no idea if it would work or not. My front wheel was doing about 100. And I could feel it going, yeah, I was yeah. just hauling ass. And I just lunged as hard as I could. And I pulled it. And it was like, okay, got it done. Hell We're yeah. done. We're out. Yeah. So awesome. Did you destroy the jump after that? Uh, no, it just kind of weathered away. away. Yeah. Yeah. Withered, 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 withered. Well, that's a great. I didn't really realize about the, the Eddie stuff. Yeah. So did he ended up buying the footage? Yep. Yeah. So, so was it was it expensive? So <laughs> yeah. So he bought the footage and you destroyed yeah. your ankle. 
Or your shin. What about it? So he bought this footage and you already. And you did. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. What uh? How much did Losi sell it to him for? For your own video? I have no idea. Come on, I would never pay not. attention probably to that. Come on. I th- I feel like honestly, from Eddie's perspective, he probably wanted to just film it the way he wanted yes, to film it as well. Go. So I think there there's part not if it's the banger of the video, you only have one static shot. Yeah, of it, it just yeah. doesn't work. You yeah, know, right so that fair especially enough. of like a full a full length documentary. Like, yeah, is that the banger? Is that the end piece? thing? It's the, like the fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the final thing. Yeah. Um, and then I guess so it's the 50th issue comes out and it's isn't it like a fold out joint too? Like is it a big what? No. Nah. No? I know there's something about that. Yeah, though, huh? I think it folds out. I think it so, does fold out. Oh yeah, yeah. it had all yeah. the magazines on it. All oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 So but it was like because the photo is horizontal, so you could see you do the rock but then it just kind of opens up to like a cooler like yeah, a all the photos. photo. Yeah. yeah. So I mean that I mean that Everybody remembers that. I mean, honestly, I think from our the archives at the time, the 50th issue, besides like maybe the first 10 or 12, uh, that was the only one that was sold out. Like you, oh, couldn't, really? you couldn't if you are looking for, you know, ride issues, 50th issue is pretty much the hardest one to find. No. Wow. Way. Yeah. And I think it, I, I think it was part of part of that. It was such a totally. I mean, the response had to be huge from yeah, it. it's to this day. Yeah. Is yeah. it weird that like you'll do all these things your whole life and then there'll be one thing that is just like it's standalone. It just becomes this thing you're known for. Oh, uh, the swing set? So, no. That, 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 yeah. <laughs> the but, you, but yeah, but you know what I mean? There's like a couple <laughs> things. Flip, yeah. But you know, there's a couple things. But it's like think for you, it's different because you had already had in 20 years of gnarly nice. groundbreaking yeah. stuff yeah. and then to be 20 years into it 20 some years into it and be like oh i'm also going to do this and it's going to be one of the highlights of my career yeah it's fucking cool man yeah it's yeah. cool I'm just lucky that it all worked out that way you know like, yeah is it uh nothing on purpose i mean i think it, yeah it goes to it goes to the the gnarliest of the gnarliness of the trick the the photo the obstacle itself like it's like one of those like Pe- s- the all the things combined like you, you, know? you always see people do big foofanoos i've done a ton of big foofanoos oh, i've done a, a sick few rag. well no no i mean i've done but what i'm saying is i've done a photo i've done a couple big er boobicas than foofanoos but you never see big boobicas because they're fucking gnarly. So you said big boobicas. A big boobicas. <laughs> big boobicas. <laughs> but because they're so, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know, what I'm saying is you've seen yeah. these times. Yeah. People do massive foofanoos on stuff and everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you're like, yeah, that boobica is just as big. Yeah. The problem is that it's called a boobica. And fair enough. You know, uh, Abu Kaka. Abu, Abu Kaka. Kaka. I still don't know how to spell it. <laughs> but that's off a ramp, though, right? You're talking like off a, a bank or a ramp. Is that what you're talking is about? It, yeah, is, it, is it called different? What's it called? No, I don't know. That's it. What is there another name? No, I was Blunt. Just saying, Blunt. Blunt. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. well, sometimes you do it off flat no. ground. Yeah, it's, I mean, all, it's no. all the same to me. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all the same to me. I mean, if it, yeah, Abu because a funny name. Yeah, yeah, Ron Wilkerson. Yeah, right. Is that who it was? I don't probably. Remember. Yeah, probably. It's kind of like the Madonna. Yeah. yeah, it's a weird name. It's a weird name. <laughs> and why? Uh, there has been talk. Do we want to put it out there of of doing not you doing something? But uh, there's been no, there's been no, talk because I don't years. want it ever to be a pressure situation okay. right. at this yeah. point. Yeah. You know? Basically, enough. what's oh, happening? There, there's is Dave's coming out of retirement. Yeah. He's Dave's coming out of retirement. Picket. He's going to tail up nose picket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that. Okay, book. one other thing. If you, if you just walk up there, by the way, you're in Santee, California. Just go walk up there. It's right by uh, West Hills High School. I really, I feel like I, I really should. It's go a check beautiful it out. view yeah. up there. Take the kids, go play on the rocks. It's awesome view. Like. Oh, bitching yeah. place. There's people free climbing and stuff around there. I like. I like. That you, is I like. You did it. a trick on something people rock climb on. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> uh, one thing that we. I do not want to miss is of the foot plant. Oh, right on. Yeah, the I feel like that is uh, if if the abubica is your most well known like stunt, I would assume that like the foot plant is like an iconic quintessential, quintessential Volker. Like you could like put it out, you could you know get rid of who it is, and people would be like, oh, it's Volker. Oh, hundred. Do you, you know, know how hard like, it is to do that? Dude, yeah. I have tried so many. I'm like, how's Volker do? And I've tried so many times to try to get into it. And like, okay, well, then I learned the splits one year. I'm like, okay, I could do it now. Nope. I don't understand. Which is you funny that hit. you say the splits because I am like the tightest person that cannot touch his toes or anything like that. You know, like it, very it, not limber. It's a very strange position to get into on a fast, on a foot plant. It's really weird. Yeah. It, it, so I would go too fast. Who's that? Oh, that's Volker. 
Yeah. Right, I was going to say. See, like, look at my heel. This? Look at my heel. Yeah. And the that's heel, why I don't do it heel. up off. The coping is because I'll slip off if I go too high. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I've done it, of course, too fast. <laughs> but I go faster than you should. So look at that one down there. Look at that one right there. Which the one, one with the no shirt on. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. that's my favorite. That yeah. one looks like oh, a hand that's plant. The one. Yeah. That, yeah. that like was Texas plant. Toast. And uh, oh, we were just getting ready to go buy a 12 pack or whatever. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do something, I better do it before we go get beer. <laughs> so oh, I right. just jammed out there. I did that. And then I did a flip fakie. But you, did, also, you did like beer. a weird sort of like, <laughs> like alley oop into it, right? Because it does this weird. Like, yeah, work. it's like just a, a real it's like fast. A, it's like a big like whip. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's all about G's, right? It's all you could tell I'm pulling my handlebars down you know, my, because I was going so fast. My first introduction to you was I went to a bike show. And I want to say it was in La Mirada. It might have been called The Bike Doctor, maybe. And I saw a show with you. Nice. I, mean, I remember seeing you do, like, the big fly out. Yeah. And, and why did I do that? Because I was just trying to entertain the crowd to act like I was crashing. I mean, it was just entertainment, right? And that, that was, I remember. It because became I went, a trick. I was like, I mean, this not is, a trick. This is the, I, I actually, I filmed one of you just a few, like, a month or two ago, actually. Yeah, yeah. But this one was maybe a year, two years ago, maybe. I think it was a COVID year, but like you're on a big ass bike, but like it, that yeah. sums up the motion, I guess. But yeah, that's a big ass bike. It is a big ass bike. So, yeah. I, I mean, I think the the foot plant is like, I don't know. It's just I such a getting that fucking that cool thing. I you like, know, like, yeah, the way he has his head down like that. Just cold like to him? Uh, he plays with it. Is, yeah. He, can, he can't do him like that exactly, but he, he, it's got a good style. You're looking at your foot every time you do that. I try to just get my face by you, my knee. You said something the when we filmed one the yeah. two months ago. You're like, it's like you're trying to kick somebody in the face or something like that. You said something. It's like a roundhouse kick or something. Mm. I, I mean, this is definitely yeah. mi it's a misquote, but it's yeah. like in the yeah. ballpark. Uh, yeah. So I try to explain it like it's almost like you're doing like a circle with the bike, right? Like it, it's kind of just so fast, it's just going upside down type of thing. I, and that and that's the dyno. Is that the dyno? Your your dyno? The yeah, that uh, GT called me up, you know, a couple of years ago, and they said, "Hey, we want to do a signature bike with you, and uh, but it's got to be a 29." And well, I'm so like, were you, what the were heck you... is a 29? I had no idea <laughs> yeah. what he was talking about. I swear to God. And then I went out on a couple of rides. They sent me a performer, you know, and I I went out on a couple, and I was like, "This is a really cool scene, man." I'm all, "Yeah, let's do this." And uh, it, it's just a different bike world, you know. But did you did you have out any, with the wind in their did face? Did you have any like relationship it. with GT or Dino at that time, or no, was this the nothing? Re just out of the blue. Okay. Yeah. All really right. cool. That's cool. Yeah. And so then, I get a little royalty check, and I get to go meet new people, and you know, I got a. I'm gonna put it out there. Bunch of cool people in Vegas I go hang out with, and yeah, for these awesome. Dino, these Dino GT people. Here's a here's if, a good highlight reel. So too, if they but. if they if they put out the a Dino yeah. Slammer Bashguard Dino Slammer remake frame shit would sell like crack ben ward and, dude ben come on just come do on, a limited man. run do a hundred of them do 200 of them dave can sign all of them dude i i, I mean I'll, I'll be first in line but that that right bike on. sells like hotcakes all right i was i was geeking out a little bit when you when you were like you know it's always cool to film with you of course like uh, you know i was as i said i grew up watching you ride bikes and seeing you come come to claremont and stuff like that it was always so cool right. it is a little serendipitous that you're like yeah we just did wheelies we just fucking rode wheelies for as far as we could yeah and then it's like yeah. there's there's this new scene of like dudes that just do wheelies just come full wheelies. circle yeah. you're right like, you're right like i it, didn't it, think about that it, it's uh it's funny how it works like that you know and it, it, they are riding bmx and they are like you know they have like a they accrue like san diego bmx which is like the website that i started when i was a little kid too and it's like, like nice. they don't even know that like my version of it exists and they don't yeah. know who yeah, people are. They don't know. Who and that's why I liked it. I could be whoever I wanted to be. Yeah. Nobody knew who I was or knows who I am when I go on these rides. It's so cool to just feel a, a different world. Yeah, that's cool. That's It's, cra it's crazy. Yeah, and it's we, cool. We all went on one. I think it was uh, you, Brian, Xavier. 4130. Yeah, this is up in L.A. Do you guys, do you guys have to ride straight yourself. to the hospital? But there was all a whole bunch of us there. No, Mike and not it, one person knew who any of these guys were. Yeah, that's awesome. Not yeah. one person. Yeah. 
But and he's was, on his 20, of course. Yeah, yeah. I wrote my 20. Yeah. Keeping it real, man. Yeah, dude. He's <laughs> fucking nerds. He's all, <laughs> he's all angry. That's, yeah, so, that's, all, so, Peter, all, that's well, so Pete had, Augustine of you. Had, well, Prenny broke his foot, like, just yeah. a few miles in. I ended up pushing him up the hills. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I'd take a bunch I, of... My, 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 how did he break his foot? Because he my was bike on has, a tall-ass bike. My 29 signature has slick tires. So they're called smoothies. And, and like he got the, the tires wet you know, right through so... grass. And then it was kind of a cobblestone street corner that we were turning on. And he just slid out and broke his ankle. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I ended up pushing him up all the hills going, getting back to where we were. It was like, seriously, over 10 miles of me, like pushing him along. Well, I would help every Yeah, they would help. Yeah. Yeah. So, He's almost, he is Look a at senior the dad citizen. still taking care of the kids. I do. I get senior <laughs> discounted. <dad. laughs> well, so do you. Uh, yeah. Um, 55 and above, you know. Are you, yeah, how are, old you, are, you? So, are you 55? <clears throat> how old are you? He's old, dude. I'm how 56. I guess. I don't know, I'm man. 59. You've always looked 59 dude, to me. You look good for 60. You've looked for, the thing is, for 60 years 60. old. It, it's hard for me to say because this year, <laughs> and as a kid, everyone just looks older, right? Like even yeah. Dave Perrick, when I started riding them, like Dave Perrick's an old man, yeah. but he was like 23 yeah. when I met him or something, 22. Yeah. Yeah. So it's hard for me. You always looked like you're 47. Yeah. You know? Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> no, he does jujitsu yeah. and stuff. He's all, man, these kids, they have so much testosterone. I can't keep up with them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that way, are you still kind of actively doing the, the ride out stuff? Uh, every once in a while yeah. I'll, I'll hit one up, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it, then is the, is the relationship with GT still like you, obviously we did the, the little shoe thing. Yeah. The yeah. Other, the shoe did, thing, so yeah. is it, is it still kind of, it, it's stuff? cool. And they, they just, uh, relocated up in, uh, oh, yeah. the orange County area. GT yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Back in Gothard. Uh, no, they're, yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's something. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Richard Long built his warehouse, new GT factory at on Gothard, which has got hard, and he's Richard Long. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Long Dick got Long. hard. <laughs> that is so terrible. Did you? I know he did it on purpose too. Did, he was a great man, a great man. Did that, you, that company was going to be huge, man. So now his son runs it. Or? No, no, no. They they got bought out so many times. Like I said earlier, they were just like uh, pieces, you know. But now they got it all back together. Now they got somebody who actually cares about the brand owning it. So I think who they're gonna do really good. Now? I think they're coming back. I don't. Who owns it? Yeah, now? I don't know. I mean, yeah. they have. I mean, they have people that care. I mean, Jeff Z's a TM, and Ben Ward is uh, who I said earlier. I, li yeah. I lived with for yeah. a long time, and so. In, in control of the brand, you know, and it, Mike Morrow is super cool too. I don't know if you've met him before at all, but yeah, I mean, passionate people behind a brand is what you need, yeah. you know? Right. So yeah. hopefully, yeah. I mean, I don't think that, I mean, they've been doing good for a, a while. So, yeah, no, yeah. totally for, for what they had. And now they got some, an owner that cares Yeah, that it's going to really yeah. turn around. It seems it seems crazy the whole the bike life stuff like the Mandalorian bike and all that stuff. Oh yeah, it seems nuts. So, it seems so crazy. I just uh, to me it's just it's weird that people put so much money into a bicycle that you're just going to go out. To me, a bike is meant just to beat the shit out of. Yeah, yeah. right. You know, it's just yeah. a tool. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's just. I, I hosted a ride once, and I had them cutting through like dirt roads and stuff or trails, and people were pissed. Man, they were like, "Oh, my bike's getting dirty." <laughs> you know, it's funny is they when we did the VMX day thing, they somehow the word got out on that world too, and they all showed up, and we literally went like a mile left Balboa Park, went down to like San Diego High, and we're riding a spot, and they were like in the way the entire time like you're like sitting on the spot and sitting you know yeah. you're like yo you need to get out of the way even and know then where like, to sit. Yeah. after like 10 minutes they were like what do you got they were like what are you guys doing like let's go yeah like let's ride yeah. and you're like no this is this is what we do we're riding yeah. this for like 45 minutes yeah. and they just all lost them all at the first spot there's out <laughs> like they're like well, this is fucking whack this and we're not, like this is this not is what we do yeah, yeah. Like, we're like we're fucking out it's like <laughs> that's funny. literally the two, same two worlds world. collided yeah like if you think about it that's kind of like what we used to do it was kind of like a combination of both we'd ride a long distance to go ride something but we would ride it for a couple hours yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and we'd we go just downtown lost and we'd ride the pelican wall for a couple hours or go to a school or something i i, like I still remember yeah. i met him at mission one day and we're going down this alley, and he knew every garage to bounce off of, every little <laughs> stair, every wall. That's like, I was is. tripping yeah. following yeah. him. Yeah. He was so street, it was sick. Oh, you had those epic shots in, was it Ride On? Uh, on Pelican Wall. 
right? Yeah. yeah. You had that wall yeah. the table. Yeah, just, yeah oh. I had good tables off God, of that. God, I miss yeah. that wall ride. That was yeah. such a terrible ride, wall ride, but it was yeah, fun. But it was like time. such a meeting spot. Such it was. a cool yeah. little area to be in. And that dude, that dude would just lose his mind towards the yeah. end. So, yeah. <laughs> the bell bondsman yeah. on the other <laughs> side of the wall. He yeah. gets so pissed. Lose his fucking mind. <laughs> and it was all dirty with bombs and everything yeah. around. It just smelled like urine. It was just like, yeah, we're yeah. downtown. Let's go ride some shit. Yeah, <laughs> We felt at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's funny how it just it works. It's because it, you kind of what you were saying about him just knowing every alleyway like that's that's Demarcus these days. Like Demarcus is nice. like he knows every single little every cutty bump. thing and and like you roll down the street with him and in, in downtown and he's like and everybody you know like what's up you know like everybody just knows him because he's out there every day. Like if you wow. go underneath the 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 city college like the bridge that yeah. goes on like towards downtown towards the water. You just look on the usually it's on the left it's a, a black bmw wagon it's marcus's towards okay. the end of the day like after 3 p.m every single like here day. downtown yeah yeah oh, okay. it's, li- nice. it's literally out there every single day and just knows every single spot don't How know cool. it's, it's cool yeah that's cool so because that's what B- i didn't know that's what bmx has changed where it was like we'd ride like i would just ride the boulevard yeah. Like I'd go down Woody Boulevard and I'd know every bump and crack. We'd yeah. Cross every the street. Gym, and then yeah, you get to whatever. the point where it was like, okay, we're kind of far from home. And then we're going to go back on the other side of the street. Yeah. Yeah. And then it got to a point where people just like drove to spots and rode. Yeah. And yeah. then drove to another spot and rode. And, yeah. I, and it started feeling like people don't ride bikes anymore. Yeah. 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 That was the same That's thing what, with me too. Yeah. 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 Like where you drive to a spot and then you know, do your thing, Instagram and you filming and then load your the car, one. your bike into your car and drive to another spot. It's But there's no more riding home. bikes anymore. Yeah. Now that crew, that crew, the whole downtown crew with Albert and Mikey up and, and, and Ricky and Demo and all those dudes. And there's a lot more to them, but like, that's what they do. They park at the same spot downtown, yeah. but then they, we'll they, just cruise. Just they just cruise. Did they raise their seats? Uh, <laughs> that was so, a big no. part of yeah. it, right? But like they don't, the they don't, so they don't necessarily have a destination. They don't have a requirement. Yeah, just going to ride. Whatever, that whatever they find, sometimes they don't even ride all that much. They just hang out, and yeah. it's like that's they just spent the that's day cool, out. Though. Like, and that's yeah. that's pretty much every day for them. So right it's cool. Yeah, I wish cool I wish I could participate. That's what, you know, that's what like, bike riding like, used to be. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That we used to be we would meet up with skaters and stuff at like downtown or Balboa Park and stuff. There'd be skaters too, and we'd all hang out together. Yeah, session. Try to be innovative together. Together, you know to me i was always looking at the skaters you know like mm-hmm. to me it they was were like, a huge influence like when like so, yeah. mark gonzalez and Nottis and guys like that to me were a big influence on my bike riding because i was like how do i do that on my bike how mm-hmm. can i do a wall ride on my bike how can i grind on my bike you know yeah. stuff like that and then all the nose like bonk stuff and those manual stuff that's what, yeah anyway yeah. Too much. no that's no, 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 that no, no, perfect you're no you're not yeah uh what i don't talk enough so that's you Great help. Is it is it you know I, I've noticed something over the last a uh, uh, few years that like my girlfriend doesn't understand and I think people understand is it's and I think it's it might be only in this sort of industry is we have friends that we've been doing the same thing with for thirty five or forty yeah. years and most people most people you know I'll tell like oh, I'm gonna go see my buddy uh, he's one of my closest friends like I've never she's like I've been with you for four years I've never yeah, heard his name. who is this person you're, you're like you know and you're like well I've traveled the world with him all over and yeah. I can't explain it to you. Yeah. It's it's really uh, bike riding is a really a unique thing where you I just have these friends that I've known for thirty years yeah and we're still do like I I go ride with Brian Castillo more now than I ever have like we ride and we hang out more than we ever have yeah. and that was like my first real bike rider friend and it's weird I was just like sometimes we'll just be, I went and filmed something with him the other day he needed a couple clips or something and I'm like we're still riding the same damn spots we're riding. <laughs> we're, we're literally a block from my house. And we're still doing the same I, stuff on the same thing. I tripped out this morning when he was like, oh, yeah, he's staying at Tony's house tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just weird. You know, life's like uh, just it's crazy that this it took us on such a bizarre trip and we're still here. Still riding. Yeah, yeah because yeah. most people nobody's even I think about bike riding alone. I'm like I rode I've ridden riding bikes and it was my job for two thirds of my life. No one says that about any job. Yes. Yeah. No one gets a job at 14 and then that's what they do until they're 45. Unless it's, you know, 1940 and you work in a factory, you know, you work for you know, Stater Brothers. But you know what I mean? Like it just, it's just, it's such a weird, weird thing that I think is going away. Like that idea of having these yeah. lifelong things are go- that's going away. The greatest thing from BMX for me is like the friendships that I yeah. have developed, you know, from BMX, you know, the people I've met along the way. Yeah. yeah, but it's crazy. You guys are still friends. But 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 Barely. think yeah. 
we were camping together. No, together. I think it's <laughs> I think it's I think it's cool. The, I think it's cool that BMX has done a great job of kind of. I mean, more on the Dave side, I guess, is like bringing him back in and keeping him a part of it. Yeah, and stuff because like they that. don't do that. Thank like, you, Todd Lyons, for yeah. making that happen. Actually, <laughs> right? yeah, he did great. That yeah, we, we're going to get that in Todd Lyons podcast. Going. Oh, a Todd Lyons one's coming. Uh, yes. But even even from your perspective, Pete, it's like I feel like I see you at every event, and you interject yourself in it, and you you still yeah. are immersed in it. And I think that's super cool. Yeah. Like, I think that's uh, look sick. at the knowledge he had yeah. about yeah. the update I, writers. I, I, you yeah. know, I love BMI. I yeah. love watching it. That's yeah. why I go to these content. And the cool thing about it is, it's like I just walk through there and just watch it and then leave. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. No obligations. No. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, no one knows who I am. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, but by the way, people are connected. They know so much more about people now from doing things like this. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty cool that you could be, you know, in a, a snowstorm somewhere in your house stuck, but you get to enjoy something like this. So yeah. I yeah. I think really that's, cool. I think that's the role is to educate people. And so people understand, you know, I would assume not every single person that watches the podcast is, uh, you know, our age. You yeah. Know, so I hope I hope people that are younger uh, listen. And some will. And yeah. Stuff. I mean, very little, know, but so some Cole will. will listen. Well, I'm sure half your audience is does care about the history of BMX, yeah. and there's probably yeah. the other half that doesn't Don't. give a crap at all. Yeah. You know, at but all. I'm sure there's you know people that do want to hear you know like where it came from and how did it start. And, yeah. You know, where well, did, and, and all they need to do is Google Lord Volker. Yeah. Well, Lord, and Lord that, Volker, that video and then there's will, there's there's a lot of books like the birth of the birth of uh, yeah. BMX freestyle movement. There's nice. a lot of, there's a lot of history that people have chronicled that that is out there, and and I mean myself included uh, should consume more. Yeah. You know, it is important, and that's why that's why I wanted rooftop here to yeah. be uh you know and and you as well is just to bring context and all that stuff because yeah. I I'd have, I know Dave from when I was a kid. And who he was already, yeah. not how he got there. So it's weird because I've always just looked at Dave as just like a, Here we a go. friend, you know, a really flying cool albino. Yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah the, 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 what is it? Jumping albino, jumping albino Elba, god, albino yeah. jumping god, albino yeah. jumping. We got to get this. this I'm making in. that shirt tonight. Yeah. <laughs> albino jumping god, white on white, <laughs> white on white. It was like that uh, when Nick Phillips did that heroin Satan fuck shirt. I don't remember. It was a uh, black on black, and you could barely read it, but it said heroin Satan fuck. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like the most three most offensive words, probably. <laughs> yeah, they sold amazing. like sold like hotcakes. Yeah. <laughs> when does podcast come out? Uh, not this Tuesday following Tuesday. Okay, uh, nice. there will be albino jumping uh, God shirts available on my Etsy <laughs> <laughs> when this comes out. June I'll, put the, I'll put the plug in. Yeah, I can't wait <laughs> to see the photo. Uh, unless there's a, we're missing anything, I think we're no. I think we're yeah, good. You yeah. know, yeah. thank yeah. you, Dave. I would well, be cool if you, if, if I ever start the segment. Where old guys watching new video parts, I would love to have you guys on. Nice. Yeah. So I would love to do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Just being like, why did he go backwards and then forwards again on his front wheel? What is the <laughs> hell is that? You know, so, There's so much yeah. good stuff. So uh thank you. Thank you, Pete. Yeah, thank, for thank you. Joining yeah, me. yeah, thank you, Dude, Pete, for thank coming. You, thank you for having me. Sure. Thank you, Dave, for everything you've done. Everything you pulled and you right. didn't pull. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And and all the fucking, you just, know, wild shit. So it is go watch. And Lord a Volker. super nice guy. And he's yeah. a super Aww. nice guy. Aww. And he's You've always uh, been you know. so nice to everyone yeah. I've yeah. there's super no nice. there's not one yeah. person that says Dave's a dick. And then yeah. and his son and Cole is extremely super, nice yeah. too. Yeah. You know, it's like Let me know. Mike printing. And Mike, yeah. yeah. So and Mike. All, all the Volkers. And then there's me. All the Volkers. All the Volkers. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you, just well, super nice, but just put up this image of not being yeah. Yeah. He's, he's this yeah. gentle giant, yeah. this guy. Yeah. yeah. So thank you, guys. Cool. Thank you, thank uh, you Rooftop. Thanks. Thank yeah. you, Rooftop, definitely. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Brushing three hours. That's usually it. We try and keep it at three hours. So. Right on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was fun.